Hey chat, I'm ready. You ready? Today, we're gonna play some Spelunky 2. It's been a little while since I defeated, um, redacted. Oh no, I got crust on my mic? No, it should go away in a second. Let me know if it, if it subsides. Because this, the thin crust, the thin layer of crust, it's like, um, kind of like, uh, a croissant. So as long as it's a croissant and not pizza crust, we're okay. Yeah, since I defeated Humdinger, or was it whatever, uh, uh, Badonkadonk, whatever the name of that boss was, um, I kind of needed a break from Spelunky. And I have some more goals, and you know, to unlock more characters. But essentially, I needed some time away, because I've been streaming so much other shit. But, um, it's always nice to come back to Spelunky too, especially when you have a special guest. And that special guest is is you're not gonna believe it chat you wouldn't you wouldn't believe it they're a famous rapper slash rock star slash athlete slash Olympian slash movie star it's it's KY <laughs> yeah hey what's going on y'all great to see you great a to see you you love to see it aka Fred Durst <laughs> yeah I'm gonna play some spelunky yeah so uh that was a hell of an intro. How you doing, KY? I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing, man? I'm doing okay, man. Thank you. I a little um tired or from earlier, but I'm I'm good now. I'm here and I'm present. So good. Yeah. I just uh I just ate some sushi. That's what I had for dinner. Uh and then I watched the disc one of the first uh, of the DVD of Lord of the Rings Extended Edition. Oh, you're you're going down the rabbit hole again? I am. <laughs> I've actually never seen the extended one, so, um, so we decided to boot it up, and I didn't have time to do both, and yeah, it's the DVD, unfortunately, but we have, like, a projector in the attic that's kind of not the best quality anyway, so that's what we were watching on. Um, well, that's something, I mean, the extended edition's great. I'm a I'm a huge fan of the extended editions, so you're mm -hmm. gonna have a lot of fun with it. Honestly, I I haven't watched like the first two movies in probably over a decade, so I wouldn't I don't even know if I'd be able to like appreciate the differences as they're happening. You notice them um, when they're gone. That's more the issue. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So like what you're saying is when I'm done doing all the extended edition, I need to just watch the vanilla edition. You could, but I would probably <laughs> just if you catch it on like, you know, TV or whatever that is or what you know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, I'll tell you about Lord of the Rings, uh, versions in a moment, because I have some input. Um, you'll see, chat, in a bit, there's some input. Mm. So this is, um, again, this is KY, everybody. KY is a good friend. KY and I did a podcast for a little while. KY was part of the Vine Sauce team, and now we just play Spelunky every now and then. Which... Yep. I'm more than happy to do, because KY is the Spelunky master uh, uh, amongst all of my friends, so... This is, uh, oh. always a special occasion. Yep. And for those in my chat, I am with, uh, Vine Sauce, Vinny, professional jabroni, uh, amateur wrestler. <laughs> um... <laughs> we used to do a podcast together, and he was part of the Kings of KY stream team. <laughs> oh, for God. one day. <laughs> that, that's a hell of a thing. For exactly one day. Um, hey, I have a question. How do I actually, like, play online? Um, wait, really? We did it before, didn't we? Yeah, I don't remember the exact... So you go to the main menu, and there's an option there called online. Yeah. Um, so you do that. Mm -hmm. uh, it says the walls are shitting. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, I think you need to... Oh, I can get a code. Yeah. You want to just enter my code? Yeah, that's probably easier. Um, I, I guess I'll just post it to the Discord mm -hmm. rather than say it out loud so that we don't just like get randoms. Sure. Um, also, chat. We're using. I'm using the uh, vanilla Spelunky too, just because it was easier, and also I wanted to remain consistent with KY, so we have the same version. But the Vine Sauce mod is amazing, and will definitely return one day. So, there we go. I sent it to you. Cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. All right. So, here's the code six, seven, five, seven, seven. 
Uh, hang on, I have to. Try. Yeah, I guess you. I said make sure you don't show it either. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Um, see, it says code. Now I can enter the code. Here we go. Okay, so it's it's. I got code. Oh, what the hell? Go back. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> you, you guys in your leather suits, looking all cool. <laughs> Murray, these these suits are a bit small. Yeah, yeah, they're real tight. <laughs> it's uh. You know, that's after they got like drenched. They got they drenched got and then they really sh small. they they shrunk. Yeah. Uh, um, we're, this is chat. This is the flight of the Concords we're doing here. Um, where the Alex the Kaid. That's where that came Kaid. from. Oh, you're doing robots. Yeah, if you There's want. Only one rob. You can do two robots. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Vinny. Where did you find the value of Pokemon cards? I got a holographic Pikachu from my cereal. I don't know how to break this to you, chat member, and I'm sorry to do so, but. Every cereal with Pokemon cards comes with that hollow Pikachu. So, in other a words, you can sell Pikachu? that. You can sell that on eBay for about forty bucks, and people like would probably buy it. Dead Pikachu? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yes. Oh. Holographic. Where it's, we have our own. Oh, ho okay. Code names here no, in the. Uh, I should have put that together. I was thinking just like. Hollow, like empty, empty well, inside. Oh, shit. Yeah, well, that's me after buying cards. Um, we'll talk about that, I'm sure. We have a lot to catch up on. So, I want to let you know my goals today for, for Spelunky is to go to the the City of Gold. Because okay. I've never been. Okay, yeah. We will achieve this. And there's Without a character issue, there, I'm yeah? Sure. Uh, yes, there is a character you may or may not recognize. Okay. From Spelunky 1, Spelunky Origins. Okay. Um, Splunky 356 over 2. <laughs> 2.8 oh. prologue. Yo, someone emailed me and told me they wanted to give me their entire stimulus check if I played Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> and I'm just like, thanks. Listen, that's such a fucking cool offer. I, I cannot accept that. One, that's your money. You need that money. I'm, I'm an asshole. I don't know what I need it for. And two, I don't want to play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Yeah, I was just gonna say, there's no way to not stimulate the economy than to have another Kingdom Hearts stream in the world. <laughs> That's the way to do it. <laughs> I, I am a coward. I know that the Kingdom Hearts streams would turn into uh, a lot of fun for all involved, I'm sure. Fine. The thing hey. that pisses me off is that they got rid of all the Final Fantasy in Kingdom Hearts. I three. know, I heard about that. That's upsetting. Like, I know a lot of people, like, they like to meme and pretend that they like Disney. Um, and that's I, the yeah. reason they that they're still into Kingdom Hearts 3, but for me, once I learned that there would be no Final Fantasy in Kingdom Hearts 3, I just lost what little remaining interest I had. Do you know the reason that they did it, too? Why? Because the plot had become too complicated. But uh, they, they said that the plot had too many characters and they needed less characters. Oh. So they kept all the Disney and just axed all of the Final Fantasy. Well, I mean, honestly, back in the day, I never liked really like a lot of Disney stuff. I liked Aladdin. I liked Lion King. You know, Disney was not my thing growing up. Uh huh. And so I, uh, uh, if I had ever I decided so. to play Kingdom Hearts in my life, it would have been because Cloud and Leon, aka Squall, were in there. You know, so <laughs> that's that's literally the only reason I played it at the time. I just wanted the Final Fantasy. Oh, Tron World was cool. Yeah, I heard Tron cool World worlds. was cool. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Kingdom Hearts Two kind of branched out, and I'm sure that gave a lot of people hope for like Marvel and Star Wars and a Kingdom Hearts game, and then that never happened. So, oh, oh, um, what? Oh, we're doing that kind of run? I, yeah. All right. Why not? Okay. That's how the pros do it, right? Vinny close bets. I don't know. Are we doing Death Roulette? I haven't. I I've no no say in the oh, matter. I have a wombo combo. So here, you take that, and I will take this, and we will be unstoppable. I feel. Oh shit! I oh my you god! You was the turkey. A to total accident. I'm just glad it wasn't you. Okay, good. I got you, baby. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let's go. We got this. <laughs> um, I do intend on picking Splunky up on Switch. Like, it's hard for me to not just want to support 
one of my favorite games ever in any capacity I can, you know. I'll probably get it. I don't know if I'll play it very much because I already played over a hundred and something hours of this and the first sure. one many more, but I might just get it because Papa Derek deserves my money mm -hmm. and because I would eventually play it. I know that for sure. Just not right now. The way I see it, the more money that they have, the better UFO 50 can be as well. I would play um, that UFO 50. Ah, uh, I can't wait for UFO 50. It's going to be excellent. For those that in chat that don't know, it's uh, it's the next game that is from a team of developers, including the developer of Spelunky, but also the developer of Downwell, Catacomb Kids, uh, the composer of Spelunky, interestingly enough. Um, they all got together to make a fictional uh, compilation cart, like Action 49 or whatever it's called. A Action 52, that awful thing. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. Well, that didn't work at all. Just <laughs> like that! Oh, am I alive? No! Oh, you were. Alive. Uh oh. I was alive. Help. And S save me. Got him. Nice, dude. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well. Okay, I, I, I won't. I won't sabotage the run this time. I promise we will get to this city. But I'm honestly just happy to play. It doesn't really... I I, I mean, let, let's get there, but I don't mind if you sabotage a little bit, as, as Kirk would say. Oh my god, it's a mirage. I'm telling y'all. Kirk made like a Kirk. Shatner hit 90th birthday and made like a weird like AI. You ask questions and, it, and he answers, but it's just pre-recorded interview footage. <laughs> And it's like, Mr. Shatner, how do you feel about turning 90? He's like, well, I don't want to die yet. Uh, I got lots of things I need to do. And it's like, oh, okay. He got existential real quick. But, uh, huh. yeah. But he, he, existential he, Shatner. in the original Star Trek, he said sabotage. In the cartoon, the animated series, he said sabotage is sabotage. <laughs> and I just say that. Sabotage. Yeah. Like he's from Boston. 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 Sabotage. Nam and Jaden FBI. Sabotage. Nam and Jaden. I'm playing Detroit, by the way. Speaking of David Cage games, I'm streaming Detroit uh, Come Human. And How is that? It's fine. It's like, it's one of the most ham fisted games I've ever played in my life. Um, like, you know, when a game is about a really strong theme. And rather than the world have any depth, it's just every inhabitant of that game just is about that theme and lives for that theme. It's like how in the world of Pokemon, the only thing they ever talk about or do is related to Pokemon, right? Yes, always. It's like that, except every single person on the entire planet only ever talks about androids. But there's more um, to life than androids. Well, that's the thing. About 99% of the population hates them. Um... Like, very few people like these things, yet somehow they're just everywhere in society and super pervasive. But they um, make your life easier by doing the McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> and you... <laughs> yeah, no, and that's one of the big themes is uh, they took our jobs. Like, half the graffiti oh. in the city of Detroit is now about how the androids took our jobs. Oh my god. Um, David Cage yeah. likes to smear it. Like, the subtext just yeah. gets smeared across the mirror, doesn't it? Yeah. And, um, it's, uh, it's basically a game about racism, uh, that has zero subtly, subtlety whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Like, there's literally a scene within the first hour where a guy enters a bus, and all of the androids are stashed in the back of the bus in this small, like, three by th three by three square. Um, while sad music plays, and they while look sad, sad music because plays. they're in the back of the bus. Well, I'm glad the music tells you how to feel, because, yeah. uh, and I, I wouldn't know otherwise. What a, what a, that's a very overt kind of thing. Does it not, like, so I'm assuming you're not liking this game based on all of this. Not, I mean, it's kind of fun to play, and it's kind of fun to make fun of, like, any schlocky, you know, video game. Yeah. Uh, but it's not like Indigo Prophecy, where it's just, like, they just go so far off the rails that they just run with it. Um, in this game, it's like it stays within bounds of, I don't know, realism that's just kind of boring. And like, whereas in something like Blade Runner, like they kind of grapple with their existence and their emotions, whereas in Detroit, there's no grappling at all. Mm -hmm. Like they just can inexplicably feel with no explanation as to why. And they're like, I don't know. 
There's so, a scene early on where they where uh, uh, an artist tells an android to close their eyes and paint a picture from their imagination. And he's mm -hmm. like, but sir, I can't. And he's like, just do it. So he does. And rather than, of course, rather than not, <laughs> how did that happen? Oh. <laughs> um, rather than just like airing out or having something interesting, he paints a really sad picture of a guy with his eyes closed. Um, and it's like, I'm just screaming at the screen like, he would make nothing like he's an android right like put some dimension into it right well i mean blade runner or they try to or you something. know they give you false memories and and like you know yeah. then they explain it it's a huge plot line it's like oh the old model is like this but the new model we confuse them on purpose so that they don't question oh, their reality in no 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 in blade runner like oh in blade runner yeah. and that's from the 80s right and it's you know well i mean philip k dick probably i don't remember when android's dream was written but yeah, I mean, that topic is a really good way to explore humanity. Mm. You know what else? I mm. I hate to do this because chat's going to be really upset with me because I do this a okay. lot. But you, you know you know what else really fucked up the whole attempt at androids? What? Star Trek Picard. Really? They fucking beans it so hard, Cause, KY. Because Data comes back in that, right? And I don't know anything about... Star Trek, so, you know, yeah, forgive the, me on that. I mean, the Data stuff was somewhat less egregious than just their entire handling of androids in general, and, like, how it regressed from the original show to the way they were treated then, and, ugh, don't worry, it's a lot. I'm not gonna do it. Chat's already saying, here we go. So I'm I should abandon my plans of starting my Star Trek experience with Picard, then. <laughs> I'll point you in the <laughs> right direction, but not that. I'm That's kidding. my opinion, though. Some people liked it. I mean, I don't agree with those people, but everyone... Some people like, um, you know, shit Sundays. I, uh, sure. I don't... <laughs> I did not like it at all, and it upset me, and it hurt me. So... That's a bummer. Yeah. Why? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm trying to remember, like, when I have seriously asked people where I should start with Star Trek, and... I want to say a lot of people say, like, mid... Mid-series next generation. Correct. Yep, like season, season three. three or four. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I did get that right. So I, when the time comes, I remember. I will remember yeah. that. Yeah, it's it's good. But um, without Ooh, there's a crate. I'm getting this crate. Wait, no, I'm not. It's, yeah, because uh, Yang Yang is in the way. So I I'll had a um, handle that one. <laughs> yeah, got it. I had a uh, something interesting for dinner tonight. Ky. Huh. What'd you have? I had Skyline Chili. Have you ever had that? Skyline Chili. Yeah. No. Is that like a style of chili or a brand? Is it, chat? is it Cincinnati that, like, it's it's a, basically it's in a can, the one I got. It's Cincinnati Chili, right? There we go. And, uh, nice work. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. oh, great. And I killed the chinchilla. No. Oh. It's a brand, and uh, there's a certain way to make it. A, a friend of mine told me, hey, check this out. Here's a cool way to make this stuff, right? What you do is, the first of all, the, the it's kind of a little bit sweet. It's a little smoky, and it's got like, a kind of hint of cinnamon. It's amazing, KY. It's it's really good. <laughs> yeah. I bet, I bet it's great. Sorry, I, I swear I listened to most of those words. So, so um, the, the recipe was you make some spaghetti. <laughs> I can't, I can't st <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are we pulping these turkeys? Yeah, yeah. All right. Who's got the yeah. bombs? I do, right? <laughs> yeah, I ran out when I was doing some cooking shenanigans. All right. So you make some spaghetti. You put the mm -hmm. chili on top of it. And then some uh, diced onions around, you know, and then some like shredded cheese. Yo. Yo, it was fucking... It was really good, dude. Sounds really good. I, I so really... It's, it's like pasta chili. Chili yeah, pasta. It was legit. So that was... It, someone said it sounds awful. It's not good for you. <laughs> Very but, few chili probably is. Like, I'm sure you could get a chili that has lots of, like, corn. Because <laughs> corn, corn's good for you, I guess. <laughs> right. Uh, I like beans. There's, like, a lot of... There's bean chili. Oh, beans are really good for you. They, you know, the more you eat. Yeah. But, like, it was good. It was a really cool... 
And I remember looking for Skyline Chili, but they don't sell it locally. Mm. Now, the reason I have it, I went to my P.O. box today, and chat, I hit the mother load. Mm. I have so many cards now, chat. Oh. I thought you were going to say someone sent you like a case of this chili. No, no, I was no. Like, just oh, one. What a coincidence. I'm going to tab out for a second on, and I'm going to just show, I have this picture of the cards. I got the key and I'll, I'll get the Ujjah. You, you got you this? That. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'll tell you about the card addiction in a bit, but uh, what I, I went to my PO box today chat and I got a ton of fucking awesome cards. Mm. Um... I'll have to... Here it is. You'll notice, chat, that I have... For next time, I have All in the Family, or All My Children, Wacky Packages, Battle Cards, Batman Returns, Hook, more Star Wars cards, way more crusty scummy cards under that, and Super Mario Brothers movie trading cards. <laughs> That's awesome. And the old Nint Nintendo cards from 1989 in the wax packaging. Oh, did you just, hey. just, did you just goo me? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. You can put mm. it that way. All right. Um, that's awesome. I want to say I also had the Mario, uh, the Mario Brothers movie trading cards as a kid because I was obsessed with that movie. Like to me, that entire movie was canon. <laughs> that like, uh, that King Koopa was a weird, was Dennis Hopper humanoid. Monkey! Monkey! Um, and that Yoshi was just like a fucking Velociraptor from wow. Jurassic Park. I loved that movie. Mario, Mario, Luigi, Mario being the canon full names of the brothers. It's still a fun movie to watch. I don't care what anyone says. It's it's yeah. legit fun. Is it good? Debatable. Fun? Absolutely. Yo, sticky someone, me up there. Someone in my chat the other day posted the... Um, the original instruction manual for Super Mario Brothers, and it is full of all sorts of weird shit. Yeah, like the, the art, right? And and what lore. Yeah. Sorry, I just like got so it's so okay. frazzled by that lizard. We're having a deep conversation about Mario, so I understand. Yeah. But yeah, um, it got it. They it took a while for them to really figure out the lore. Like the even the Super Show had some weird shit that they never revisited. So. Yeah. I love that one fan art, that really famous one that like connects all of the worlds from from Mario into like one singular connected world. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't have any bombs. I thought I had bombs. I try to throw a bomb. I, I screwed up pretty bad. I, I that bomb was pointless. It's okay. Um. <laughs> hmm. Someone in my chat said Link Link is Link's canon name too. <laughs> link, Link. <laughs> uh, that's good. Oh, Chad, if you want to watch uh, KY's uh, Twitch channel and and get two perspectives, because that that can be fun, and also to throw KY a follow, I think you should do so. It's at Fred Durst on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you for the shout out. Chia did it all for. It's it's King KY now, yeah. Yeah, King yeah. KY. Or if you really want to say it like the cool kids say, you could say Kinky. <laughs> That's good. Um, much to my chagrin, I've I was been debating changing it for a while, but I don't know what I would do. I kind of like King KY. I think it's cool. I like it too. It rolls off the tongue. I would kill for just Twitch.tv slash Adam. Like I'm so jealous of Fred. Fred got Fred. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's insane. And someone owns Twitch.tv slash Adam, and if you go to this to the page, they haven't streamed in years. And in the about section, it says. No, I will not sell you my profile even for a million dollars. Amazing. You know what? Um, I bet he would though. A million dollars? He probably would. Yeah. Like, let's let's be honest. Yeah. Um, let's try to get Helsing over here because it'll make agreed make the journey easier. But um, yeah, I've been on a bit oh, of wait, a. Wait, did you get the key? I have a I have a low key. Oh, I've got a key. I got a key too. We should combine grab keys. Our back keys, keys together. together. A little, a little oil. <laughs> A little oil. A little some Skyline Chili. <laughs> uh, man. Do you want to try to... Um, wait, is it... Wait, where... I'm so it's confused. probably somewhere down there. I'm going to yeah. free the, the, the cat, okay? Okay. Percy. Did you know that was Robert Plant's nickname? Percy? Really? Yeah. 
I found a sick Led Zeppelin print that I might mm. get, like, put on cardboard. Um, and it's just the four guys in, like, dapper suits. It's really cool. In but, leather suits? Uh, leather suits? Real smoke, Murray. Okay. Just don't get them wet. They shrink like a bitch. Yeah, no. Um, but, so, so yeah, anyway, the, the thing is, I'm, I'm addicted to cards again. I've been uh, opening crusty card pack. It started with Pokemon cards, and I still like them. Mm -hmm. Because, God, I got... Oh. Hey, fuck! No! I save you, kinda. Oh, thank you, you did save me. Did I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Which, uh, if you had to recommend one card, brand, line, whatever uh, you want to get into, what would you Don't recommend? do Pokemon, because you'll, you'll get addicted, and it's expensive and awful right now, and scalpers have ruined it, and... Sure. It's fun, but, you know, don't. Um, okay. Just, if you find, like, weird, crusty old <laughs> packs from the 90s, that's the best shit to me. Yeah, you, you don't collect a specific line, you collect, like, the relics. Like, you see <laughs> it, it, you know it's full of intrigue, because you're like, oh, I got this yeah. you know, Masters of the Maze card pack from Nickelodeon yeah. 1992. Yeah, exactly, and it's like, I open them on stream and chat, sometimes likes it, and sometimes calls me an addict. But regardless, I have a good time with it, and uh, I got so many good ones today. And I'm like looking at these cards. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, how does this exist? How does this exist? <laughs> so it's fun. Yeah, for sure. Did we get Van Helsling? Horsling? Mm, I found no. him. No, I don't think we did. I think because I dropped the key at one point. Oh, oh, shit. oh he's he's over here. A terrible I, chill I, I, runs I, up your spine. Oh shit. You need to make sure you grab the Ujet. Yeah. I, I have to. I have to just run. Oh. I had a, ma a magman just uh, fall from the heavens onto me. That's fine. We we didn't need Helsing that bad. He just he helps, but he's not necessary. Yeah, I don't know how to. What? Great. Um, I. I, I don't really know how to fight Vlad that well. Without. Um, yeah. Honestly, I half the time I just don't even fight him. I just. Uh, Grab, grab and run. The, the okay. And run, yeah. Yep. Uh, if you happen to find an arrow somehow, it's programmed that the arrow just one shot kills Vlad. Like no matter what the source of that arrow is. I'm gonna get you so, back. Do you want to come back? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Thank you. The reason I ask is because ghosts, uh, you know, are pretty useful in their own way. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. There's I a... guess I could have frozen Vlad too, but. Dude, shield. You want... I'm, you're probably better oh. with the shield than I am. I'm the shield man. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, good I'm luck down there. This path. I'm just going for it, baby. Yeah. Love to see it. How you okay. doing down there? I'm good. There's definitely a little bit of a tricky jump, but it's doable. You just need to take it slow and careful. I'm going to kill this bat. Nice. Nice. Very good. Good, good pulpage. I could use a little bit of... Uh, of turkey you meat. You want to stay out here? No, I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna come clover. in. Okay. And we have a clover, so we can really take our time with it. What is that emote? What is that? What emote? The pulp emote? Is it, that what that is? It is. It's it's the worst. Fuck it. It's, Ultra pulp. Yeah. Here's what it is. It's I corrupted the Sopranos. I didn't. Someone sent Sopranos <laughs> PS2 game corruptions, and the main character is Big Pussy Son, and he huh. it corrupted slams a dude's face into a urinal over and over and over again. Oh my god. So someone sped that up, and, uh... Yeah. That's what that is. I'll show you... I'll show you the original version at some point. Did they ask Tony Soprano to close his eyes and try painting a picture with his imagination? I don't know, I'm Italian! I don't know what that is! Like, Italians and androids are the same, like, kind of thing, you know, and, like, they can do yeah. the same allegorical story. David Cage, uh, Sicily become human, you know? Yeah. Instead of Gabagool, they eat cyber Gabagool. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Gabagool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yeah, we should just grab it and run, I guess. I don't have a better plan. Yeah. <laughs> On it. Okay, time to leave. You got it, yes? Yep. Good. I wouldn't I'm mind to grab a cape. Too. You know what? Oh, 
Oh no, I don't have any ropes. I was gonna say I like to kill, uh, and I like to yeah, kill I was because say, Vlad's cape is so Vlad's, good. It's it's amazing. Well, we can fight him. Got an arrow. Oh, there is an arrow. I might need to be a blue arrow. I'm not so sure. Did about he just that one. pulp himself into a wall? Who, Vlad? Yeah, no, Did he? he didn't. I mean, that's like the main oh. cause of death for for him. That's kind of his his thing is self pulping. <sighs> it needs to be blue. Okay, gotcha. Good intel, thank you. I'll, I'll freeze him. I'll fr I'm dead, so you can have the cape. Oh, just... he's... I'll see what I can do. Careful. Careful, I'm gonna... I don't wanna... Oh, I don't wanna... Whip. We'll get him. There it is. Alright! Hey! You, you, it's you know what? It's always backwards whip. You go um, grab that. You have ten bombs. I'm just gonna bomb down here. Smart, smart. Good stuff. Alright. And, uh, yeah, successful. you got the crown. Okay, good. Yep. Yeah, you could get me back. You have one minute. Oh, yeah. I don't know Give if you, you want to... You... so much time. Okay. Well, no, I'll just get you in the next level. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Vinny, would you like crusty fake Pokemon cards? I've had to start vetting the amount of cards people want to send me. Because now it's, like, getting to... Like, the people want to send me their loose piss cards. <laughs> which I'm good with. Thank you. Um... Here's what I would say. That's a cool offer. Maybe. Let me know. I like fake cards. They're fun. Would you like to be revived? Or do you just want to chill for a level? I'm, uh, I'll be revived. Okay. Cool. I wasn't sure if you were going to take damage from that. I was terrified. Do we want to try um, this? Yeah. Sure. Chill. Let's do it. Careful, beam. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I forgot okay. about that. Sorry. That's cool. I'll keep exploring the level while you okay. do that. Yeah, I love that we can split up. I feel like that was something we just didn't do at all in the last last time we played this. Is we just like stuck together like we were yeah. tied at the hip. I played uh, a little bit with Joel too, actually. We had a pretty good time. We we yeah. we did alright. Like weirdly enough, we made some good progress. Cause we were just bullshitting through most of it, but we we split up, you know, we got used to the online stuff pretty quickly, and then we, we fucking killed some, some stuff. It was good. It was a surprisingly, yeah. uh, competent stream for what I consider to be a semi-chaotic game. Hmm. Like, not always, like, you have to be coordinated, and when you're just, you know, BSing, it can be hard to do that. That was crazy. I was just literally walking inside a magman for, like... A good 15 seconds. It was just following me, but I've I've rocked off, so it's cool. That's good. Um, there is an angry shopkeeper. They're not aggro yet. I would probably just ignore them. Let's ignore and maybe we'll be forgiven. Yeah. Challenge completed. Please return to the entrance. Okay. And there's a crate down here. On so it's yeah. More bombs. Okay. Yeah, there's not a whole lot on this level otherwise, to be honest. Um, I have a question for you in regards to music. Okay. Um, so that we both saw the Mars Volta box set. We talked about it. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Yeah, there's um, a lot of mag men coming out of that pit. Okay, let's... Let, yeah, let's just, just survive. Okay. Good. But yeah, I saw it. The $500... Uh... Crazy. How... Yeah. And it sold out quick because it was such a limited edition thing. But yeah. man, what a nice looking box set that was. I know. I actually went back and I've uh, been re-listening to their discography in order ever since that announcement. And I did a full Francis re-listen and deloused. Yeah. Um, I still have a lot of love for almost all of their albums, everything except for uh, Octahedron, which still isn't very good, very good, but yeah, it's agreed. becoming more apparent than ever to me that like deloused is just like, next level, almost like so much next level. And like Francis, I guess it, I shouldn't say leaks above all of them because Francis is really good too. I have a lot of love for that too. Which I think Francis's problem is just Omar's like wanky production. Agreed. Um, no, I I have not. You know what? That's my favorite Volta album because it was my first, but not by a lot. And it is the height of pretension in so many cases. But um, oh, I I still. Oh, okay, I'm leaving if I can. This is horrible. Sorry. Smart. <laughs> I'm glad you left. Smart. Uh, what are we doing? Olmec for you. 
not to, unless you want to take a shot at it. I no, just you, know how I you want, do. I want you to do it. Let me see okay. you, how you do this. The strats. Yeah. Okay. It's left and right, baby. Yeah, I, that's how I do it early. I do it a little bit different, but yeah, I've. I've I'm gonna give you a heart attack when I get to phase three because that I don't have a strat for. I just kind of do it. Gotcha. Well, I can't um, really. The problem is I can't really watch because yeah. it, he'll come after me. Right. But I think that phase three Olmec is probably the most fun part of this entire game. It's just exhilarating. You, you sure about? It? Cause I. Ooh, ooh. I'm good. I'm fine. You're good. Oh, why I, are you going that way? What the fuck? I I tend to like phase two because you can just wait, and he'll bomb, <laughs> and you don't have to do anything for three minutes. Should I get off of Olmec or? No, you can stay there. It's fine. Oh shit! This is horrible. Okay. I can help you. Maybe. Do you want me to bomb? Okay. No. Wow. Jesus fucking. God. Oh my God. Okay. Why? What is going on right now? <laughs> okay. Uh, you just stay up there. That's a good spot. Good. Uh, and trying to take damage. What is he? Oh, because he's still kind of reacting to you. He's actually completely reacting to he you. He is, yeah. So I'm gonna... I'm, I'm gonna scat. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he changes aggro to me, because... Oh, shit. That was bad. Okay. We'll roll with it. No, skedaddle, chat. I was gonna skid skedaddle. 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 <laughs> this way. I know, fecal funny. Yeah, you should blow this up. Oh, it didn't blow up. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, so you, you, you kind of just, just... You know, take it as... It. You know, you, you figure it out as you go. Yeah. I think the only, like, hard and fast rule I have is I just blow up alien when I see alien. Oh, you son of a bitch! Hi. I am the android from Detroit Become Human. I'm shaking with anger right now. God damn. <laughs> uh, I, that was so wild. That was... You got this. You can do it. Yes. Yes! I'm going to freeze this and hopefully I won't kill you. <laughs> uh, problem is I don't have the crown. Oh, no. Um, That's okay. We'll get it back. Will we? I don't know. Um, because I got blown up. It might be on the bottom left of the level with my sack. So you just, I think you just need to grab my sack and we'll. <laughs> I don't know how to get back to your sack. I think it's, it, it hangs a bit to the left. <sighs> <laughs> All right. I'll take a look and see if I can. I'm just one health left. One health. Just watch out for skeletons and. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry, chat. I mean, I, I said scat daddle, so you, you're not the one that needs to apologize. <laughs> I can apparently freeze the lava, someone said too. It would take about 35 minutes, but yes, I believe you can do so. Huh. Weird. So. I. Might have to do that maybe how many, I, ro I, how I, many ropes i have no rope so parachute Ooh. nice parachute it's good the thing i'm worried uh, about we'll is if i go the all the way left <laughs> yeah will you be able to get back up your body There's is not there body. or the body is there but not the uh the sack oh no you'll have to cook or i could freeze lava i don't, I don't fucking know like what is this like Forever. That's Wait. a for, that's a forever. Does it? No, it doesn't do anything, does it? You just remove one lava. So like this will eventually work, is what you're saying? It just we could takes spend a long time. The rest oh of the God. stream doing this, yes. This is bullshit. I like I'm pretty sure the crown mix. got pulped. Yeah. Well, that's that's the city of gold run at least. But um, yeah, so you can still. 
Good. Yeah, nice. Very good. What Mars I mean, Volta News was I talking about earlier. So basically, they announced that they, they announced, uh, sold and sold out of a box set. Let's just say uh, basically a vinyl uh, collection of their discography plus one bonus disc that had unreleased music from the, the, the last era. Yeah. Yeah. Very excited to listen to that. Yeah. Yeah, I still feel that Nocturnicate's very underrated. Um, Nocturnicate's good. Very good. Um, but yeah, Delaust and Francis are just so much better. Yeah, they did. are. They are. They're. They're some of the. I would put Delaust and Francis in my top twenty-five albums of all time. Maybe. Maybe you know something like that. Top thirty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Delaust is very high ranking for me as well. I mean, Televators. Or alone. Not uh, Roulette Dare is probably like one of my top five singles of all time, along with WAP and. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know WAP. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yes. Uh, Maps that song. Thank mm -hmm. you. I uh, I was gonna say I always I, I tell you this every time, but I like to reiterate one of the the live album shows for the Scab Dates album. I was at I was at, I was at the Roseland show in New York in '05, and they put that on the album and that's i was just awesome. like that's that's like the coolest thing ever to me but i, I love mars volta there's still chat i would recommend if you like prog rock but not too proggy in some of their albums yeah and uh just psychedelic fast heavy rock with a little bit of a punk are we gonna kill anubis i guess it doesn't matter we don't i'm just Anubis. can you there. freeze anubis uh yeah i think so um I actually hate uh, scab dates, but for the, like the most superficial reason you could imagine. What's that? So, when you plug my phone in in my car, it plays by default. It tries to detect if something was already playing. If there wasn't something already playing, it just plays the first song in your um, in your discography by uh, alphabet. Mm -hmm. So, like the like your entire everything on your phone, uh, whatever is the very first thing it plays. What it plays for me is the opening track of Scab Dates, which is just like the most repetitive, distorted, like, oh, yeah, that shit bullshit. Yeah. Every time I plug in my phone in my car, this thing blasts and it ma it's made me just like hate Scab Dates. Like, I can't listen to the album because I hear the, that first three seconds of the song and just like punch out one of my windows. <laughs> All right. I, I <laughs> it understand. It makes me so angry. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. So yeah, point is is I remember liking it um uh -oh. Oh, there goes that. <laughs> I remember liking it at one point. I didn't um, know she could do that. I've only been here like twice. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, so she zaps you, zap does damage, and if the zap hits a wall then it spawns an enemy. A random uh small enemy. Mm-hmm. You might wanna just bomb I I I can you get your own corpse? Uh probably. Is my thing visible somewhere? It was to the right. Yeah. Yeah, if I can see it, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Oh, 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 oh wait, down no, here, down here, yeah. Right. I think you can get your own corpse with with freeze power. But we have no rope, so... That's fine. I mean, two of us is surely better than one of us. That's so oh, that's weird cool. that you can do that. That is neat. The scepter, the scepter fits, fits, but nothing... What does that mean? It means you don't have the crown. Oh. Yeah, and we knew that. I'm gonna stub my toe here, probably. Okay, we're good. I'm just gonna keep trucking. You do your thing. I don't need the scepter anymore. Oh Scep no! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Grab a brush and put a little makeup. <laughs> the scepter. Damn it. The scepter is death juice. Okay, I died. Um, what happened? It was actually kind of bullshit. I I landed on the shopkeeper who dropped the shotgun and the bouncing shotgun stunned me from the mm. shotgun that they dropped if that makes sense here i'm going to we should freeze the the queen bee mm -hmm. okay i really thought they were in a shatter okay i'm terrified of freezing you i don't want to do that but maybe okay cool because that health bonus would be a big boon to us yeah Good stuff. If you can just get me inside, can I go inside? Yeah, yeah, I can get you in there. Yeah. 
Okay. Not. I was thinking, you, like, I need yeah, to get you in there. Door. Oh, fuck that Hang spawn. There. there we go. I don't know it's if dead. I want to go back in there, man. It's dead. It's dead. Yeah, there's another bee, though. Oh. Oh. <sighs> You could go in. Me... There's a little bit of invulnerability when you first exit okay. the door, so if it looks bad, just nope out. Or, yeah, there you go. All right. Yeah. Oh, there's even a cool shop. I could kill. Uh, the sh she's not happy. May as well just yeah. Well, there goes the run. I think I'm poisoned. Nope. I'm nope, poisoned. No, I saved you. You're okay. good. Just keep going, man. All right, I'm gonna get the pet or something. Shit, I got this. Nope, that's fine. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> What a run. It means you're not royalty. Because you don't have the crown. Oh, sweet. I revived my... Or, yeah, that works too. Uh, I managed to get a PS5 recently. Oh, sick. You what are you playing on it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm playing Just Dance 2021. Damn. I really <sighs> thought I could juke him. Damn it. All right. Well, um, surprisingly good run for how like fucking chaotic that was. It was fun. That was well, a really it was fun it run. was slapdash. <laughs> no, how'd you get yep. a PS5 anyway? Um, <laughs> I uh, just on Walmart. Like my first try, I saw someone. I saw them tweet like, "Oh, PS5s on Walmart," and it was like what, right did when Wario I got tweet? Checking. Did Wario tweet that? Yeah, and I happened to be looking, and I was like, yeah, I'll give it a shot, and I hit add to cart, and I added it to my cart, and I entered my credit card and bought a PS5. It was pretty nice. So, um, my, that... my brother-in-law was just fucking pissed, because he'd been trying to get one for months, and I just kind of, like, logged on, was like, oh, look at this. Wow. Man, I am not spelunking well at night. Um... Yeah, the current PS5 just looks like a humidifier. Um, it's such a weird uh, it's so design. It's ugly. Yeah. It's so bad. But uh, did you get any games for it? Seriously. Yeah, I got, I got Demon Souls. Okay, because, good choice. Good choice. Um, And yeah, and it's for me especially, I feel like that it's a very good pick because Demon Souls was my per first PS3 game. So there's like a weird like... I don't want to say nostalgia because it sounds weird. Yeah, to but no, but there PS3, is. But yeah, there is. is yeah. Dude, we're getting a little totally older. Is. I mean, it did come out um, 15 years ago. So. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. It's horrible. Yep. 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 Um, I'm yeah, waiting. I got Demon Souls. I just beat it. Um, oh, yesterday. I was gonna, I was gonna open that pot of 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 money. Ear, oh. dude, oh, it's well. ear. Look at him. Look at him. What's oh, wrong? He missed it. What? His ear his, was his. They, they patched it so that ears large is bigger than the other shopkeeper's ears. I don't understand. Ears large? Whose ears large? That's so, him? Okay. No, so the shopkeeper, his name is Ear. And, like, if you enter the store, he's literally named Ear. It says, welcome to Ear's General Store. Why is and, there... Oh, there's a unique... Oh. Yeah. And the reason is because it was it was a typo. His name was supposed to be Earl. And then they, <laughs> they patched it. Uh, to th so that it was fixed. It was Earl's general store, and then the fans bitched that they took ear out. <laughs> they didn't bitch. It wasn't malicious. I was right, right, right. Funny. Yeah. But, um. But yeah, they complained, and then you know, based uh, Derek, you listened and put <laughs> put ear back in. So now there's both ear and Earl. They <laughs> That's great. Uh, and not only that, but ear has larger ears than the other shopkeeps. Why am I attacking this lizard? I, I noticed um, too, like, yeah, I, I looked at the other shopkeeper. I'm like, yeah, the ear is smaller on that one. <laughs> I never noticed this. Ernal. Ernal. Oh, it's me, Solid Snake. Did you say ear? <laughs> um. Okay, so the key is here. I did not see. Oh, there, it's over no, this it's way. it's over to the right. Man, I'm going to kill this. Oh. Um, can you throw me up there, please, for a favor? Okay. Yeah, I didn't need to do a rope, but here, I'll throw you. Oh, I meant with the key. The key. Yeah, to the left. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Next. Okay. Um. Yeah, I just, I'll spend about Tell that. KY about the diaper chief so he can disown you. <laughs> the diaper chief. It's, uh, you know, Solid Snake. <laughs> He's res He rescues the DARPA chief. He mishears it. And then Liquid Snake is like, Who's a little doo doo wee wee head? Who <laughs> pees his pants and cries about it? Me, the diaper chief. 
Yeah, that's right. You know, that's all God. it is. It's a bad this, bit. This bit is fucking atrocious. It's atrocious. Like it's it. it's really bad. It's better than Mario in a small <laughs> box, though. Okay, why? Yeah. I have. Have you heard the Mario in a small box bit? Is it just like Luigi? I'm stuck in a box. How did I get here? It's it's this. It, hey, Luigi! It's me. I'm stuck in a small box. I can't get out of the little box. That's it. That's it's a little underbaked. <laughs> I mm -hmm. kind of think it's. I like Diaper Chief, but something there's something Lynchian about the small box that I like. Well, I just borrowed it from Rob Brydon, who's a you know comedian in England, and uh, he does Man in a Small Box. It's the same thing. Oh, okay. But he does it like ten times better, and I just <laughs> do a vague Mario voice. And those are the two bits that the chat hates the most at the moment, so I do them frequently. Oh, that, and you know what else I brought back, dude? Turtle Club. What? Am turtle I not club. turtly enough for the Turtle Club? Oh my god, and that's why that emote was going yeah. on. Mm -hmm. It's funny, because I had your chat up like ten minutes before we went live, and it was a uh, sub... It was emote-only mode, and like 90% of the chat was just that. But then I look at the timestamps, and there were people sitting in your chat for probably like 45 minutes just uh, just doing that emote. Which one? The tur Not Turtle Club, because that's better Twitch TV. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. There are a lot of other ones that they do, though. They have little their own little language. It's it's yeah. kind of amazing, but yeah. I went in and I said hi, and then a bunch of people said hi back using the Hey Guys emote. Oh. Um, it's it's kind of... They, they, they found a way... They have, like... It's kind of like hieroglyphics <laughs> at this point. It's really... It's it's very inventive. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. And I... Oh, yeah. I saw a lot of yay nay. Like, back to back. Yeah, they, where they wonder say, if I'm going to hey stream. Guys, yay nay. They wonder if I'm streaming. And if, huh. it, if more yays, they figure I will be. And then sometimes chat trolls and they vote nay a lot. And then I stream anyway. And then they're like, wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's just bullshit is what you're it's saying. it's yeah. It's Got it's it. one of those things where I was gonna bomb him, but I didn't want to oh. hit you and All right. that's cool though. Not not a big deal. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, I'm it up. Whoa. I think it's my input delay is getting a little fucky wucky with it. Do I have sticky or something? No, I don't. That's so weird. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't have any more bombs anyway. I'll just use this rock here, if you can save the cat. I was stuck in a small box there for a second. What? What? <laughs> um, so this is gonna come off as a little lol random, but I learned an interesting fact recently, and I've just been so enthralled by it that I've been telling pretty much everyone. Um, kidney transplants. Mm-hmm. So, I learned recently on a podcast that when someone gets a kidney transplant, they leave the old kidney in. So, if someone has... Oh, yeah. Oh, you're, are you dead? Where are you? No, I went to the... I'm going to Volcano. Oh, okay. That's cool. I'll just hang on to the cat. Um, wait, will it save the cat? Yeah. I guess it... Yeah, okay. What, yeah, just, wait, wait, wait. Will it? Oh, I guess we can find out. But yeah, the point is, is that they leave the, the kidney in. So, like, for example, there's a, a person with the Guinness uh, Book of World Records for most kidney transplants in his life. He's had seven of them. He's currently walking around uh, with nine kidneys. Doesn't save the cat. Confirmed. Damn. Nine because, kidneys. Because it's apparently easier to leave the old one in and less, like, less risk to leave the old one in than it is to cut the old one out and, like, risk infections or whatever and they will still remove it sometimes like you know it's me medicine's not exactly Careful. a black and white thing. sorry yeah 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 good. um but most of the time they just leave it in so like when you get a kidney transplant you're just gaining a kidney you're not losing any. you could be a kidney collector you could go oh my for god the... can you get a shiny hollow kidney <laughs> but yeah that's that's you collect uh... rare kidneys from the 90s oh Actually, that dude with the record probably has some rare kidneys from the 90s. He probably does. Yeah, apparently both him and his wife have had a large number of kidney transplants, which makes me think they're in cahoots about it. Because she's had like four or five, and she, he's had seven. They might like it at this point. Yeah, <laughs> it's, just, it's their weird kink. Um, yeah, or I wonder, maybe that was just like what kicked off their relationship? Like, it's, I heard yeah. you got a bad kidney. I've too got bad kidneys. 
I've hmm. never thought someone would relate to me so much. Like that kind of thing. It's like, do you know how sometimes identical twins will end up like marrying similar people? Yeah. Like you ever hear about that phenomenon? Like there's I have. Or like twins separated at birth, don't know their twins, find out years later that like they love the same shit. Yep. Maybe if you have bad kidneys, you have like spidey senses for people with similar kind of you know, kidneys. Huh. This is a weird conversation. Like, but I, yeah, I mean, it's worth discussing because this isn't talked about enough. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah, you have bombs. I don't. Uh, that's going to kill him. Oh, well. <laughs> Fuck. It's cool. It's still some Cali points. Um, what was I going to say? Imagine if he woke up in a tub of ice in a hotel room with a note telling his kidney had been taken. Would he laugh maniacally knowing that the thief, knowing that the thief surgeon only had a one in nine chance of getting a good kidney? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good bit. Uh, like, yo, didn't um, in Monty Python Meaning of Life wasn't there an organ stealing bit? Yeah, there was. Oh man, like that's where the song um, "Just Remember That You're Traveling on a Planet." The galaxy, revolving. yeah. yeah. Or galaxy, yeah, because they're trying to convince the guy that life isn't worth living so that he can take his kidney, right? <laughs> or am I yeah, the no, 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 it's a Terry, uh, Terry Jones, the old lady. I think there's something, there's a connect, there's connective tissue between those two bits, but I don't yeah, remember and why. At the end, she's like, oh, and then he just like murders her, right? Right, right. And then they grab the organs, yeah, like because yeah. the, the kidney doctors or the organ doctors are waiting while Eric Idle does his song, and then she's like, all right, you know, something like all that. Right, then. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, maybe the dude's just like really paranoid about, you know, being stolen from. So he figures he just gets a lot of kidney transplants to dilute the pool. Oh, that's a smart, a smart deception. Yeah. Did you know that there's a Meaning of Life uh, adventure game? I did. The... I, I think I played it. Yeah. Wait, maybe not I... Meaning of Life. I played Holy Grail. Yeah. Holy Grail was more of like a collection of mini games where... Mm -hmm. There's like a Tetris game where you're piling corpses in the cart. Um, and then like a, a weird like clicking battler game, battler game with the, the Black Knight. I'm gonna grab the crown while you do that. Um, but Got Meaning it. of Life was a flat out like point and click adventure, pretty much. That's cool. I might investigate that actually. I don't know if I played that one. Yeah, like, each chapter would be, like, you'd be in a different room, like, which was a scene from the movie, and you'd have to, like, figure out, like, what things to click on and move to each other. And oh, I think items. I think I did play it. Yeah, I played that. I remember there was the death scene. I remember very vividly they had, like, a, a screen cap of the movie at the end, like, the, the death uh, section of the movie. Mm -hmm. I didn't play a ton of it, but I, I, yeah, I played it on a Sunday stream. Not very much, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's no Limbo the Lost. No, 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 no. But yeah, also I'm good curious deep to go cut. back to it. I, I liked both Monty Python games a lot as a kid. There was another one that like wasn't tied to any particular movie that I remember being really bad. Might have played that one too. I but. don't even remember anything about it. I remember a weird maze, like a that you're on like a like a minecart kind of thing, like a mist maze. Get KY that. a cape. I should get you a cape. Oh. Nope, too late. I don't need no stinking cape. Do you want to get in here and, and do this? Maybe there's an item in there yeah. that you could use. I'll explore a little. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. And Whoa. don't come in. Oh. It's funny, I just saw the screen shake and then heard that noise, so I kind of love not having the context there. It was really funny. Well, one of the animals that shoots fire uh, just blew up the item, you know, the the, the, the lava area with the, uh, the, the, the gold. I'm not explaining mm. this well, but uh, yeah, essentially yeah, yeah. The, we're, the, the idol. Yeah, we're we're kind of we're kind of semi screwed right now. Oh, maybe I'll find like a, a door out of here, lower in the level. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Um. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Just gotta get creative, you know. Yeah, I, I made it through, but you're not because cape. That's fine. But we'll figure only, only this out. One of us need make it through. Give me a crate. Give me a crate. There we go. All right. So, I like to play a game in my chat. It doesn't probably won't work in yours, but 
I choose a viewer and they get to predict what's in the crate. And if they're correct, they become a mod. And if they're incorrect, <laughs> they get timed out for five minutes. Oh, God. So, since there's so many people in your chat, it wouldn't really be fair to just, like, pick a random. No. <laughs> just do it for everyone. So... Chat, what's in chat, KY's crate? What is in my crate? I could e We could even just say, we'll VIP you, because that doesn't do anything. I see mostly people saying bombs. It's gonna be some weird shit. It's gonna be like a plasma canyon. Can a plasma canyon. Or something. A plasma canyon. Halo level plasma canyon. It was. It was bombs. Okay. So everyone who said bombs gets to be a mod. Everyone else is permanently banned from the channel. Oh, well. Sorry, chat. You heard. You know the rules now. Everybody knows the rules. I, I don't write the rules. I, wait. No, I literally wrote those rules. Just now, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, I'll let me know, and I will go through the door. I wonder if something weird happens if you go through the door without me finishing the game. Just go. Just go through the door. Probably nothing, right? No, Maybe you have the bow and like arrow. Stealing? I do. Yeah, because I picked it up before you went through. I was going to mention in regards to Lord of the Rings. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. Yeah. Hang on. I'll tell you something. Oh, uh, you can carry me across. Mm hmm. Take that. Oh. Yeah. All right. I like that. All right. Uh, let me grab you. Here we go. Beautiful. Good stuff. Thanks. The DVD is good because the color grading is good on the on the DVD. The Blu-ray is bad. The color grading, really? especially on um, specifically on Fellowship of the Ring, has a green tint to it. Really? Yes. So, the whole so you'd movie. Actually, recommend the VA, or not the VHS. I, Jesus, I recommend the, the 4K or the DVD, and I have the Blu-ray, and it's it's got a green tint. Hmm. Across wow. all of the Fellowship movie, and it's weird. And tonally, Fucking it's inconsistent. The DVD has the original theatrical color grading plus extended edition color. <sighs> this is not good down here. Okay, I'll stay up here for a little bit then. It's fucking the guy who played Elrond is influenced for coming over from the Matrix. Wow, <laughs> yeah. This really is good. That's good, yeah. Okay. Hugo Weaving. Hugo Weaving, thank you. I, you know, a streamer brain, once you go live, you just lose I know. your encyclopedic knowledge. It still happens to me to this day. Yeah. Matrix felt. I think I want you to fight Olmec again if that's cool. Yeah, yeah, totally. Here I go. But um while you're doing that, essentially, yeah, the color grading's fucked. The 4K Peter Jackson fixed Here, can and you drop the cape for me. How? Uh down and right bumper. Thank you. You can hang on to that. Peter Jackson fixed and upgraded the coloring the color grading on oh, um, okay. on the eight on the four K. So. Someone asked if uh, you could make me a little louder. I could also turn my mic up too. KY is currently at two hundred percent. Okay, I'll I'll turn my mic up. How's that? Is that any better? Better, better. Uh, yeah, no, it's good. Good. Now I'm just super loud in your headset. I do look like my character in real life. Yeah. That's, that's it. KY is is just a, a little dude with a helmet. Yep. <laughs> All right. Phase two is done. Need some vitamin D. I'm too pale. Need some sunlight. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but that blew my mind when I first learned that fact that sunlight gives you vitamin D. I mean, it's just such a weird thing. Like, it feels, yeah, like the like of light giving you nutrients. Like we're like plants. A weird concept. Like we have chlorophyll. <laughs> it oh, synthesizes. Shit. Oh, oh it I'm synthesizes. Good. Good. Okay. Scary, but I'm good for now. Ooh. Okay, I'm still alive. Still alive. It's been real scary, but I'm good. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm dead. But I killed Olmec in my sacrifice. But do you have... <laughs> but is the crown and the cape Probably available? Probably not. Probably not. 
Yeah, it was my mistake for not keeping up with the aliens. I was letting them spawn and just kind of fuck off, and then eventually one of them came and and uh, Fair enough. fucked up our plans. Well, I'll tell you what. Which, that's like my one rule for fighting phase three is to just try to keep up with the aliens. Like, as long as you do that, it's pretty easy. Uh, yeah, I struggle. Uh, you've seen my playthroughs. I struggle with all mech in general, but like I'm getting better a little bit by little bit. But uh, what mm -hmm. I would say is uh, you are fast. Like you have it down to more of a science and uh, phase one and two for sure. Um, I'm sure I could come up with a much more predictable phase three. Like I've seen some weird things where they make like a perfectly tight hole for Olmec where when Olmec what would it no now say say, UFOs, say that sentence again up. say that say that it's but a little slow oh. <laughs> I got killed by bats KY I'm sorry no, you're good. I was distracted cool. by the sentence we that you said and I yeah, was no, trying I to turn it into a bit and I look what happens chat do you see what happens when you make stupid things into bits yeah no fun allowed that's the first rule of playing Spelunky that's the first rule of Spelunk Club Spelunk Club that's good. By the way, that movie's um, still pretty good. What, Spelunk Club? Fight or Club. Lord of the Rings? Fight Club. Still talking about Lord of the Rings? Fight Club. Yeah. It's, you know, it's got its very 90, late 90s, early 2000s-isms, and it's, you know... It, but okay, but it's, 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 it's still a pretty good movie. Yeah. It's weird, but um, one of my favorite early 2000s tropes is the, the hyper-CGI introductions. Like that had yeah. nothing to do with the movie. Usually, flying into some dude's like skin pores and exploring his blood for a while. <laughs> I feel like that's that's such a common introduction to a movie trope. Um, yeah, I love that shit. And you know what? Too like yeah, it like zooms around his apartment, goes to his oven, yeah. <laughs> like it goes around soap. It's such a yeah. and it's like you can see the special effects back in the day. Maybe they looked like amazing. Now it's like all right, I see, I see them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that, um, I'm sure you knew that there's a Fight Club 2, like in a, a canon, mm -hmm. uh, Comic. graphic novels. Yep. Did you know that there's a Fight Club 3 now? D what is Palinek doing? Dude, um, dude apparently is... overseeing graphic novel sequels to Fight Club. Uh, he had another actual connected trilogy of books about, uh, a girl who wakes up in hell. And it's basically just an exploration of... Like, she doesn't remember what, what she did that got her killed or that why she went to hell. Um, and it's billed as being, like, the Breakfast Club meets Dante's Inferno. Because she, like, meets some, you know, some other demons and other inhabitants in hell. And they go on a little journey and discover themselves or whatever. In hell. <laughs> so, um, so there was that and it was called Damned. And then there was a book called Doomed, which was a sequel. Um... I think there's a third one. I forget what it's called, but so there's that. Darned. Darned. Hecked. Um, <laughs> talking about little Nicky. Uh, Popeye's chicken is freaking awesome. <laughs> oh I, I never had eaten Popeye's chicken. I saw little Nicky. I'm like, what is Popeye's chicken? Is this an invention of this film? And then slowly <laughs> they started, you know, popping up in New York. But yeah. I kind of like Popeyes as far as I shitty do. fast food. No, no, goes. it's my one of my favorites in regards yeah. to shitty fast food. <clears throat> yeah. I was going to mention though like I Ooh. good Ooh. find, good find. Yeah. Did you ever see the movie Choke? Yeah, I did. I actually saw it in theaters. Me too. Me um, too. Cuz I like that book a lot. It's not my favorite uh Polonic. But um pretty good. KY, I just um, wasted 3 ropes. You would be so disappointed in me. Um, the movie was okay. I just like, um, what's his face? Sam Rockwell a lot, like as an actor. I just like him. I'm Mostly a... thanks to Moon. I mean. Yeah. And Galaxy Quest, I love him in too. Yeah, yeah. Um, like my favorite Polonic book. I mean, it's kind of like, it's considered cringy to like Polonic these days. Right? It like, is a little bit. Allowed, it is. Yeah, yeah. We're not allowed to like him. But yeah. if I had to choose one, um... My favorite Polonic book is probably Survivor. A Survivor, yeah, that's that's mine actually. Yeah, super good. Um, and that one, it's pretty much Fight Club. I was gonna say it's like Fight Club, but with a cult. And then I realized that's it doesn't change anything. He, you um, know, he tries some different stuff here and there. I, I uh, but you know his stuff. Yeah, 
it's very derivative of Fight Club. Like it's, I feel like I kind of, even though the books are shittier, I like when he's experimenting more. Yeah. Like I, I actually really liked Rant, um, which Ever. that was a contentious one when it came out because it's in the style of audio logs, right? Or it's still a book, like it's still just text, but it's Fuck. written in like interview style. And it's a book that just kind of um, mostly explores like urban mythology. What? I got so confused by everything on screen. Sorry. Yeah, I'd, I'd stop paying attention. I was just I was about to have Ranting. a stroke, so. Um, what about Rant? Yeah, Rant? Rant is good. And I'd say it's worth going back and reading. I don't know if, uh, if you read much these days. I, but I don't. I, I, audio books here and there when I get to, because that's all like found time. But yeah. I would like to. I, I, I mean, I'd probably enrich my fucking life if I read a few books every now yeah. and then, but... Last uh, thing I read was yeah. uh, Dune. Dune? Um, June. I haven't read Dune, uh, but... You would I, love it. I, I know, I've, I've been told. I've been told. I'm yeah, a I bit to intimidated read it, uh, by in it. I wanted to read it in time for the uh, Denis Villeneuve movie. And then it got delayed a year, and then I stopped reading it for like three months because I no longer felt that drive to finish it before the movie. Yeah. Um, and then I finally went back and read the rest of it, and it, it's a great fucking book. Um, I think the misleading thing about Dune is it's it's more of a character slash political drama with like sci-fi trappings. Like it's not a flat out sci-fi book, right? Like, the more interesting part of the book is just, like, the inner monologues between characters and what motivates them and those things. And it's, uh, it's great. It's, it's super well written, great characters. Um, I the feel spice like it melange. super well, too. Yeah, the melange. <laughs> um, speaking of, uh, this is, like, vaguely related, but have you heard of the, the spice saffron? The real world, world spice of mm -mm. saffron? Oh, well, yeah, 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 I have. Spanish saffron. So it's uh, by far the most expensive, like, spice on the planet right now. Um, a little, like, maybe, like, one gram vial of saffron costs about six bucks. Um, Shit. And one gram, like, less than that. I don't know. Like, a couple milligrams or something. One pound of saffron costs $2,700. Whoa. Um, it is wild. What and does it some taste chefs, like? Um, I, I haven't tried. I'm not going to spend six bucks on that shit. Are you crazy? Um, but <laughs> no, I uh, do kind of want to try it. I'm, I kind of want to try it too. Just to let you know, a, an unfortunate series of events happened with the shopkeeper and he, he fucking clowned on me real hard because of a fucking lizard. Was he played by Jim Carrey? Um, but yeah, Spanish <laughs> Saffron. Someone in chat surely got that joke. So I, I, I didn't even. Um, so... <laughs> Really, did you really not? I, Wait, say it again. What people. was what was the thing? What was it? <laughs> he said there was a, an unfortunate series of oh, events. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. I have to explain my jokes. He's sorry, here, Otherwise, sorry. they're not very funny. Um, you should buy some bombs, dude. Bombs. Oh, saffron. So apparently it goes in very specific. Um, Wait, buy the is bombs. he pissed? Or is no, he just no, no. He, he, he killed the, 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 the lizard. You're good. Okay. I'm just going to go for it then. No. Buy some stuff. Um... That's fine. I like stickies. Um, so, so some chefs, like the dishes that require saffron, they like, they say it's just totally a different thing without the saffron. Like it's that important to the dish. Like the only one I know off the top of my head is uh, paella, which is like mm. a Spanish uh -huh. uh, seafood yeah. rice dish. Which is okay. good. I've had, I don't know if I've had it with saffron in it, but yeah, I've, I like it. Yeah. Um, so whenever I see saffron, like, in the supermarket, I just immediately think it's, like, a little vial of the melange. The melange. The, the spice the melange. melange. <laughs> I, uh, I, you're kind of making me want to buy a tiny vial of it, but I would probably just, like, on stream, like, be like, All right, bro, I'm going to put some of this on my tongue and see what it tastes like. It tastes like shit. <laughs> you know, like, do one Lord, of those. you just ingested $200 worth of bullshit <laughs> from that little vial. <laughs> it wasn't specifically Marty, but yes. That's fine too. Um, um. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I really, I kind of want to do like when I had um the what is it called the Australian fucking like puke. What is that stuff? Uh, no, v I, Vegemite. I, lost Vegemite. Me. Vegemite. So here's the thing. I tried Vegemite. It became a bit that people liked. I I ate it. 
on its own, and it was predictably fucking garbage. It kind of has to be paired with something, right? Like you, you can't. You put it's it, not like peanut butter where you just take a spoon to that motherfucker and you're happy. No, dude. you never do that. But what I've learned is that if you have it on toast, a light okay. spread of that on toast with butter, uh -huh. it's uh -huh. actually really good. Uh -huh. So, you know, don't eat the shit on its own because it's not designed for that. But you know, some people uh -huh. probably do. I don't know. Can, where do you even buy, can, I assume you can just buy Vegemite here, like, it's not like it's just absent. I haven't seen it, I mean, it's probably, you know what, Marmite's probably a little bit more, uh, you know, common, but right. I, I haven't seen, I, there, there's probably a little section. The Straya section. Straya. Um, someone in my chat asked what my favorite, uh, Denis Villeneuve movie is, and... It's it's a hard pick between I mean I've only seen two of them and they're both phenomenal. Um it's a hard pick between Blade Runner and uh Arrival. I'd still I love Blade Runner 2049. I think they Sicario's did a fantastic great too. Job. Yeah, I've heard I've heard Sicario is really good. I hear they're all good. Um I love Arrival. Mhm. Mm Man, I don't know. No, they're I love it too. Tied. I don't think I could pick between the two. Mine is Blade Runner, but that's obvious if you know anything about me. Um, Sorry. I forgot I had stickies, too. I can just stick them. Oh, okay. I'm failing with these sticks. Now it's just sunk cost fallacy. Yeah. <laughs> big time. <laughs> I knew it. God damn it. That sucks. <laughs> and he I blame the input delay. It's pretty big. Um, I don't have it because I'm hosting, I think. Oh, oh wait. Okay. No, I entered the code. No, I gave you my code. It's good for me, man. Yeah weird what what would which one would you pick a uh, blade runner because yeah. here's the thing i was primed to judge 2049 harshly because the original means so much to me yeah the fact that it not only exceeded my expectations but almost is kind of a better movie than the original in some ways mm -hmm. i still like there's an actual plot <laughs> yeah i mean the original's plot is a lot more simple than people give a credit for it's just a dude hunting androids yeah, like, you know, when the moment you are, the moment the stage is set in the original Blade Runner, you know how the movie's going to go. Yeah, like it's the, just pretty much the, other than a couple details. Obviously, you're like, OK, he's going to hunt the robots and he's eventually going to kill them all. And he might die, too, maybe. But it's irrelevant. Yeah. And the problem um, is the movie is so damn slow that yeah. some people lose the plot. And it's like, what is happening? Yeah. How am I supposed to feel? What's what's the goal? Yeah. Yeah, interestingly, I showed my uh, my old roommate. Uh, we watched both movies, um, and I don't know how else to put it other than like he's a fairly just like he's a very like average dude, you know, into like trucks and football and whatever. Like he's a he's a great guy. He's one of my favorite guys in the world. But he doesn't like he's not like a, a fucking nerd like we are. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, and he watched, we watched both of them and even he preferred the original movie. He was like, I kind of liked the, the first one more. It was just more exciting. Um, fair. I mean, I, I get, I, I feel that too, but I also think that 2049 is a good place to start as well. Yeah. I actually am getting a poster. Someone oh, yeah? sent me a, a movie poster right a while back when it was in the mm -hmm. theaters, the first run of 2049. And it was, it's a little crusty, sadly. But I'm getting it put on cardboard. Also, we gotta watch the eye because it is fucking tiny. Sorry I'm, to interrupt you. What's but. it called when you get it? Uh, I mentioned this again, chat. I forgot exactly what's it, what it's called. You get it put, mounted on plasterboard, I think, or something like that. And mm. so the point is, I really like that poster. Framed, framed. and mounted. Not mounted. framed yet because it's. Framed? If, yeah, if it doesn't look good frame, if it doesn't look good on the mounted, then it's not going to look mm -hmm. as good and, and the framing is much more expensive. Prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Briefed. <laughs> briefed. <laughs> so many words. I think it's just called posted or something. I don't know. But. Sure. Not there. Yeah, I don't think it was here. Um, another movie hydrate. question for you. Um, sure. Or not movie, music. Hmm. So, I've been addicted to an album lately. Yeah. It's Genesis. Oh, okay. Gabriel Genesis. Do you yeah. have any experience with, with that early Genesis? Like Phil Collins? No, um, the like The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway? Uh, nope. Can't say I do. You, you would probably love it. Like Neon Genesis? Evangelion. Evangelion? 
<laughs> my fucking brother just bought a t-shirt that is just the Garfield logo, but it says Neon Genesis Evangelion. I don't know why. Why would someone do something like that? God damn it! I think that's like it's a a little bit of a meme, just taking random fonts and putting instead just replacing the words with Neon Genesis Evangelion. There's also Garfield meme too, which is just to take Garfield and put it in the most unlikely of spots. But yeah, like you know, retrieving Chaos Emeralds or um or <laughs> harvesting the the recent spice blow. <laughs> off of Arrakis. Of course. Um, speaking of harvesting organs, by the way, before, uh, mm -hmm. have you ever played RimWorld? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm. I, it, it sucks that I'm like that guy, but I'm definitely more of like a Dwarf Fortress purist. So like, it's hard for me to play a game like Dwarf Fortress and not be like, Dwarf Fortress is better. <laughs> um, but yeah, I played like maybe five, six hours of RimWorld, and I liked it, but then I just kind of went back to Dwarf. We, we have so. a uh, blip. Ooh, do we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's tied to you. So, um... Wait, I don't know if the blip is showing on my end. It might only be actually displaying on your end. Yeah, maybe. it's somewhere around here, but I only have one bomb. Oh, shit. Oh, that's horrible. We could look for more bombs, I guess, but that yeah, really know. sucks. I didn't even think of that. Try to just, yeah, just try to find, like, where the closest you can get and just go for it, I guess. Got it. Mm, you are awesome. By one pixel. Well, not pixel, Excellent. but yeah. Um... So yeah, the the Rim World. I, I was I did a Rim World stream last year. We're we're about to start season two in like uh -huh. a week. Rim World's great. I love it, and uh, you can harvest organs. Someone said I I killed someone by harvesting their organs. Chat, what was that specifically? Can you remind me exactly what happened? Killed someone by harvesting. So like, what you said of like a work order to take to like butcher somebody. Yeah, you, we we said an or um. You you had a prisoner and took his heart. Yeah. Mm. Yep. I also um, administered weed to Scoot, like an so actual just duck. Buying this, right? And it got carcinoma. Yeah. Let's get it. Yeah, just buy it. Okay. I should have given it to you. What's wrong with me? Because I'm the one that fights Olmec. Oh, oh yeah. That's okay. Uh, and we really need bombs. You take probably more than anything. Dr. Miku cool. took the lungs out of a prisoner. Yeah, it's great. And uh, there's actually a milkable colonists mod that people want me to use, and I'm not going to use it because I, I hate it. But uh, you can, yeah, you can milk your colonists. So. That's. Why would you want. That? Why? I don't know, man. Uh, God. You can see the, the fucking face I'm making. I can just feel it. I, I already can. I can. Yeah, I can hear it from here. I can hear yeah. you making a face. <laughs> you can hear the muscles in my. <laughs> it sounds just like, like as wrinkles <laughs> appear all over my my face right? because I'm aging. Like you, you literally age, aging. You age like 20 years, <laughs> just, and like you get all wrinkly, like one of those fucking faces online. We call oh it the God. devolution joke. The devolution it's, mod. It's devolution, baby. <laughs> Oh no. Okay. All right. Hang on a second. Good. Like, take off my hoodie. Fucking yeah, warm it, in here. dude. It was hot today. It's gonna All be like. All talk of milking people. <laughs> I'm I'm feeling a little weird today. I didn't sleep really? very well. Yeah, I'm I'm a little under the weather. I think not entirely. I'm sorry, man. No, I'm, I'll be okay. I just I think it's it's it was rainy it was really rainy today but also really warm and cold at the same time like it was warm mm. at one point and then co cold and then friday in new york it's going to be 77 degrees huh okay so i don't know it could be allergies yeah. it's probably allergies yeah have you um you're, you're not eligible for vaccine yet are you no gotcha too healthy you're too you're <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I fall apart on stream, and people are like, Vinny is this crusty man, and I'm like, Welcome healthy. Welcome to Lou's Clothing Shop, is saying it. Looks like the, the crate. <laughs> There's a man named Lou inside the small crate, inside the box. I'm in the so, box! 
Wait, he, are you serious? Okay. This is real? So basically, there's what's actually happening is there's a shop um, behind the lair that I'm in right now, right? And the, it triggered the shopkeeper, but it was in line with a crate. So the voice box came out of the crate just saying, Hey, I'm Lou. Welcome <laughs> to my shop. <laughs> Uh, that was so good. Little box, please. Blue in a small box. Uh, I'm dying. That was so good. All right, what's in the box? It was bombs. Are you exploring? By the way, I assume you're exploring. Yeah, I can't right? get any further right now because there's some kind of okay. some bullshit in the way. Cool. Wait, what is down there? Oh, that's just more shop. Okay. Cool. I'm I'm coming to meet you. Or you can leave or whatever. I'd climb up through the spikes. The... Oh yeah, I can. I forgot about that. I forgot yeah. that you can you can get through the spikes. Wow, those Don't boomerangs die. fucked me up. Oh, fucked I'm me up. Buy some ropes. I could use ropes. Dude, I've got you've got stickies. I just heard you die. No, that was I'm, a, I'm alive. But uh, I wish um, I wish I had more health. Yeah. Buy that. Sure. Another hydrate, son of a gun. Okay. Uh, this is a weird question, but do you have any vocal, like, habits that you picked up from other people? That, like, just came yours? Because I've got a, I've got a really stupid one, but I've caught myself mm -hmm. doing it. When you way. say vocal, you mean, like, like, audio, audio aud Yeah, audible? like, things you say, or, like, expressions, or... Um, sick, lately? I think I picked that like or dog, like that's that's pretty new. I think I said it like when a, I was younger, like the but slang like sup dog, like yeah, that like kind of thing. I think Sphinx kind of brought that back. So Sphinx is to my my, you know Sphinx, yeah, you know Sphinx. He yeah. uh, he he brought the dog out, so that's probably your fault, Sphinx. Um, what else do I say, chat? Do you, Mine's the stupidest fucking one. Oh, I got um, one. I got one. I, I've been talking like V from Cyberpunk lately, of all things. And he but, goes to Keanu Reeves. He goes, hey, Jenny. Every now and then. Uh -huh. So I just every now and then I'll be on stream like, hey, Jenny. I don't know. Hey, Jenny. That's about uh, it. What's yours? My, so mine, it comes from my old boss. For some reason, I don't, I don't even know why. I think it was a way of like replacing a swear. He would say the word golly a lot. He just <laughs> golly. Like, like, man, like, I can't believe that happened. Golly. I found I've started to say that, and I hate it. I hate it so much. I've become so self-conscious of it. One of my coworkers pointed out, like, did you say golly? I was like, you know, I think I did. Golly. I hate I it. I think that's okay. That's not as bad as Willikers. Willikers, yeah. Golly G Willikers. Yeah. World of seven. Nice, dude. Golly. I love it when I damage myself with the dice. It's fun. Yeah, he also said son of a gun a lot, but that one, strangely, I'm fine with. I don't know why golly bothers me so much. It's just so stupid. How um, new is this? Yeah, you can handle him. Like, how new is this, um, is this golly? Like, how long has it been golly. going on for? It's, it, probably at least, like, a year. I mean, I haven't worked for the dude in a year. Um... So I had to have been saying it while I was employed by him, or like shortly after. But it, it wasn't pointed out in, to me until recently. Like I just never thought about him that not self-aware anymore. Apparently. You want that? I'm not really crazy about that. Oh yeah, cromulent. Someone in my chat point. I've been saying that a lot, but that's just a Simpsons bit. Is that what the that's perfect... from? I think so. There's an episode where, um, where like Homer says like, oh, it's a perfectly cromulent word. Um, and the word doesn't mean anything. It's just like a bullshit word, and that's like the joke. Right, and that's I've been saying it too lately, and I didn't know it was Simpsons. Like yeah. free real estate, I didn't know what the fuck that was even from for a long time. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought I invented it because my memory's shit. And I was saying in a, one video game or another about like free real estate, and people were yeah. laughing, and I was like, oh, I'm funny. Free real estate <laughs> is a good bit. And then I realized what must have happened was I must have read it from a chat member. Who got it from Tim and Eric, and then now I'm saying it, and it's clearly not one of my own bits. Yeah, but you know, my favorite Simpsons. Oh fuck, I'm so sorry. I thought I was past you. That's okay. Take uh. all my stuff. <laughs> um, and I want to make sure I kill this guy. Oh, fuck. 
just bouncing off of your corpse. There we go. The, my my damn my pesky corpse getting in the way. Oh, my, I my favorite you. Simpsons bit recently is um the dud. Like uh, there's the episode. Do you know Simpsons pretty well? I know n very little of Simpsons. Really? Okay. Very little. So, fuck! I gotta get out of here. Okay, I'm leaving. Um. They're playing some like board game, some family board game, and Homer opens, or no, Bart opens a little door, and there's this like nerd behind it that looks kind of like Millhouse, and Marge is laughing. They're like, "You got the dud," and Homer has this small smile that just like gradually, like, like this grin that goes over the course of like ten seconds. Someone turned that into a meme of like photoshops where. Like, someone will open a door, see the Millhouse thing, and just do that small smile. <laughs> and they put it onto, like, Mr. Burns, or they mm -hmm. put it onto, like, a raven or something. Um, so it's, like, it's so hard to explain, but it's the funniest fucking thing. Like, I was just watching this video and just dying at all, like, the slowest smiles. I'll send it to you after the stream, because I think you'll like it a lot. Okay, cool. I mean, I like Grinch smile. Like, you know, that's a smile that yeah. happens over many frames very kind of similar energy behind okay. that one as as the small the the dud smile oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man i had some other stuff like that i picked up and I, that i say and do and i don't remember i don't think about it until it you know like either something i picked up from a game or a stream or a chat member or a friend it's like jesus oh, I don't there's so that. much okay. i mean we all influence each other but chat tells me they okay, say my sucks. stupid shit I'm just gonna wait. I was zoning out because I'm so used to doing this strat with Vlad. Explain to KY Vlad about the time. shrimp lady. I won't write this moment. Crusty. Yeah, I got a lot of people saying crusty a lot. So. Fuck. What am I doing? Okay. Ooh, that was or like way beans. Too close. Like you almost beans that. Oh, but I yeah I did. You did beans it. it. That's exactly What's what I'm me talking up was about. I'm so used to having Vlad's cape. Ugh. Let's and, go get uh, Vlad's cape this time. Yeah. I think this time. No, I'm not gonna jinx anything. Anything could happen. This is probably not the run, but let's try <laughs> to make it the run. It's funny because when I defeated Hundun, I you know I was like working towards it, not playing a ton like once a week, but the day it happened, I felt it. Yeah. And the same, that same energy was when I defeated Hell, when I completed Hell in the first Spelunky. It's like, you, I just knew it, but I didn't yeah. want to say it. So. I think I had a similar thing. I remember starting the stream after like a week's break and just making the title something like, I will beat Hundun today, and then I just like did it on the first run. Yeah, first I, run, I think it happened, or second for me, something like that. Yeah. Like some days you're just, you just know that that's the day that it's going to happen. And like, even if you don't have confidence or you can't imagine it happening, you just know it's like, that's it's somehow it's going to happen that day. Yeah. And, and I built up to it with a series of other streams that were good, but I always like kind of fucked one thing or two things up. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was, it's a good feeling. You know, it's not always a good feeling. Ghosts and Goblins, the new one, mm, yeah. that, that game is brutal. Yeah. And I never even played the original, so like I'm aware of it and i'm aware of its difficulty i completed the new one yesterday but only the first time and then what happens is they make the levels harder and darker so that you mm. can't see like enemies and you know not as easily and then they're like hey you want to beat the game again for the true ending and i'm just <laughs> like chat i'm not doing it damn it you're not gonna do it oh no oh no 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 loser but <laughs> god damn it that's okay <laughs> i'll take it i'll no it's fine i like it uh i'll just accept my place in the world but the truth is i don't have any desire to because i don't really you know i got i, I saw the content once but it has a similar uh, truthfully it does have a similar kind of completion when you complete a level in ghosts and goblins you feel kind of similar to how you feel when you complete spelunky so there's at hmm. least that satisfaction yeah Yeah, I don't know. I've never, I've never been huge on to like, if I didn't appreciate an arcade game when I was a kid, I, it's hard for me to imagine liking it now. Like, it's definitely a nostalgia thing for me. Just so many of those games are just fucking awful. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> oh, Earl. This is normal. This is uh, ear with the L. Earl. Oh, there you go. We saw both of them. Both the brothers. Earl, Tonight, Earl they and bless, Earl. They, they will bless this run. Except I just took damage from a skeleton, so... <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I you know, I even... Like, was joke Like, I was clowning on the NES a little bit, saying some of those games didn't age well. Mm. Dude, a lot of my NES library, when I went through and found the cartridges, I'm like, oh, these games are great. I think a lot of them are still really fun to play. Mm -hmm. You go back a little bit further than that, it's tough. Yeah. I, I still... I felt uh, that uh, way uh, just from... Like, when you compare the NES classic with the no! SNE... Ooh. Excuse Bless me. You. Thanks. My What's friend? up? The... the NES Classic and the SNES Classic. Like, I can't play half those games on the NES Classic. They're just not good. Um, no, I, I agree. And some of the, the NES, SNES Classic, it's like every one is a fucking banger. Just about. Maybe not Star Fox 2, but the rest are. I agree. Um, I, I agree totally. Like, the NES library is weird because you have some of the best games. Like, Mario 3 was so good, it defined the series. Yeah. I mean, World is arguably better, but... It's just amazing. Like, I think Zelda 1 is, like, Zelda 2 is its own beast, but, mm. you know, Mega Man holds up. Um, Castlevania is hard as fuck, but really good, like, 3 yeah, and that 1. that was one that I got into when, like, way past its time and actually still really liked. Despite Can its, like, bullshit, like, uh, 100 miles per hour falling, like, instantaneous. Yeah, I know, <laughs> that that, that's always nuts. annoying. But, um, it's fun. Like, the original Castlevanias kind of reminded me a little bit of, like, Dark Souls in a way, where, you like, you just gotta keep fighting through enemies and keep getting sent back. Um, yeah, it, it... Similar vibes. <sighs> Damn, dude. I know. Rough. I can freeze enemy. Yeah, just freeze him. Nope. I think... As long as we... Yeah, I'll just stay up here until you freeze him. Uh, I played Kid Icarus recently, and I mm. loved Kid Icarus as a kid, and I love Uprising. Yeah. Kid Icarus on the NES did not age particularly sucks. well. I, I wouldn't say I, it's. I, I wouldn't tried say it to get, sucks. I tried really hard to get into it. I, I couldn't. Yeah, my memories Why give them of arrows game. if they like disappear, like three feet in front of his face. I know, right? and they did that with Samus too in Metroid. Like uh, you had to find the long beam. I mean, luckily yeah. you do find the long beam, and in Kid Icarus you do upgrade, but. It's just, some of those dungeons are awful. The Eggplant Wizard is awful. Yeah. But, again, that's an example of a game that I held in such high regard, and then I played it again, I'm like, yeah. Mm. Yeah. What would you do with a Kid Icarus game? Like, if they handed you the keys for the next one? I give it to Sakurai. <laughs> okay. He did such it, a good job with Uprising. Because he did such a good job with, yeah. That's fair. Just more um, of that, plus online multiplayer just... without the claw lobster hand controller. <laughs> yeah. Because I think you can do the, the exact Kid Icarus control scheme with mm -hmm. gyro like Splatoon. Yeah. So. Ooh, that's a jetpack in there. Mm. Uh, Colonel, I found uh. a jetpack. Snake, you want to wear some diapers too? <laughs> you can do this without them. Come on. Come on, Snake. Yeah, oh, Colonel, I'm shitting myself right now. Look out, Snake! There's someone else in that room, too! Oh, God, that scene? Uh, did you... I just streamed Twin Snakes. Did you... <laughs> were you there for that? That scene? Uh, no. Uh, man, I I love Twin Snakes for the reason that I love things like Indigo Prophecy. Uh, <laughs> where it's just so ridiculous, like, with the backflipping and... But at the same time, Metal Gear Solid was like one of my favorite games. So seeing what they did to my baby. Oh yeah, I know. I, I, what same. They did to my son. Same. But that scene is always great, and it's just the the face that Otacon makes. Yeah. Oh, classic. It's perfect. See, that is the 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 dud face of Metal Gear Solid is that zoom in, like the the rare faces, like Mei Ling's tongue sticking out, and <laughs> Otacon's ridiculous zoom in, like. The rare faces, you know, and like snake rare getting angry. Nineties faces. Yeah, those are those are hollows. Yep. That's in the original too. Yeah, yeah. The delivery is different, but that is in the original too. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, were we? I assumed we were ready to go. Yeah. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have assumed. That's okay. Should have asked. Oh. 
All good. Mm -hmm. Discovering incredible YouTube channel that's very small and very committed and tasteful. Yeah, if you can shoot to me on my Discord, check it out. It's called the Minute Hour. Hmm. Well, what's it about? You gotta give me something on that. <laughs> I might need a lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful, though. This way. Nice. Cool. You want to explore the the mines? You want to play a little dig mm -hmm. dug? I'll explore. Oh, okay. I'll go this way. Then. Bomb shop. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I'll, I'll grab a. Um. Yeah. Buy some. I got. I got paste and bomb. And compass. Yeah, and I'll have. Oh, I'll you, be you have a compass. Our gold, God damn so it. We'll be good. All right. Someone found I, I uh, someone said I found a small uh, cool small channel called Mr. Beast. Just a cool little indie creator. Yeah. <laughs> Might have heard of him. Yeah, he only gives away Ferraris. You know, not not like Porsches or anything. I don't even know if he does. I I don't know. What do you think would happen if um if you tried to like load up on vaccines like you just somehow just bamboozled the system that you get like way more than two shots. And like you, this is it's a little hypothetical here for you. You're connected to the internet 24 seven. <laughs> you just become connected to the internet. You see okay. matrix. Dude, that sounds sweet. Just having like a little hollow matrix inside your, your vision, like mm -hmm. smart glasses, but without the glasses. We have to, cool. um, just in case, do not do this. Note, do not do this. <laughs> yeah, that that was, uh, I'm, I'm an idiot. Don't take any. No, no, no. You're, you know, it just, I have a <laughs> my you never know. Someone be like, dude, I saw it on a Fortnite channel. <laughs> I just, like, this dude took like seven vaccines and he was getting headshots <laughs> all in a row, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh no it's man just the fact that you said it is probably willing it into existence and i hate that so much right now oh. oh okay um i don't know why i thought of this but i'm listening to a podcast like a, a sci-fi podcast where there's like a set of rings that connects you to the internet like a, a version of the internet like you can just wear this you ring and it's just like you're just connected so oh, I want to uh, throw out there. It's kind of cool. Cool. Yeah, I yeah. want to be connected to the internet like way less. So that's without awful. having to take seven vaccines. No, I, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean less. Less is more. Um, is it a D and D podcast? Yeah, kinda. It's not D and D though. They're playing a game called uh, Beam Saber. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking when I. C can you um, freeze a couple lavas? Yeah. Where do help. you want Which any ones? any of those? Yeah, just any. God, it's so slow. I'm not. I, oh, it is working. Okay. Okay, now the left. <laughs> oh, you're good. You're good. Oh, Jesus. Don't panic. I'm not picnicking. It's okay. Very good. I believe it's, a, it's a shame I can't get your stuff. But that's all gone. I mean, I, I'm lucky. I actually have sticky and 12 bombs, so that's good. Yeah. No, you're in a good spot. Maybe. Um, and mm. we got Helsing, so. No Kapala today at all, by the way. You notice that? I know. I know. Horrible. I think it's just we're too likely to kill um, our sack meats, our sack yeah. targets. Mm hmm. True. Whatever you call them. <laughs> yes. Milkable colonists. <laughs> yeah. We're accidentally taking their organs. They don't survive the procedure. Just leave with more kidneys. Do not... Manslave, do not break that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good stuff. Wish I could get a cape for you. It turns out these coffins do not contain you. No, they don't. I think it has to be the next level. But yeah, you could... 
throw one of those on a conveyor. I love how easy it is to get a cape here. Like, no matter what. I mean, oh, I guess you can't. You can't really carry one, can you? Um, no. Oh, thank you for the raid, uh, Luigi guy. I appreciate that. D wait, the actual Luigi? The Luigi. Got out of his box. Vinny, you can carry a cape. You can if you wear one. And if you wear one. I thought you would just switch the one you're wearing. I don't know if that's true. I don't just know. Having if a I... cape simply so you need to float in order to prevent the, the spike damage. No, yeah, I was no, gonna say I didn't, no bueno. I didn't think so. There might be some way to finagle it, but Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Shape cape. Shape cape. It has to oh it has okay, so if it were were the same item, then you could. Like if you were already wearing oh, the yellow I'd have cape, to, you could yeah, pick up downgrade. The cape. Yeah, downgrade. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. Also very good intel, thank you. Okay. I should have let I feel you get stupid up. about that death earlier. It's supposed to be the good run. Okay. Kapala? Do you stuff. want? Um. Well, I'm likely to get crushed by Olmec. Uh, yeah, I would say you Fair. take it. All for right. Sure. I'm going to grab this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a monkey. And monkey's going to commit Sudoku. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. oh, oh shit. What Where is happen? he here? What? Oh, right. Because of the fucking. The, the, the thing, drill. The drill, yeah. Ah. Uh. I didn't even, I didn't remember pissing off the shopkeeper at all, like even with the drill. But then again, I zoned out a lot of that drill level because I was ghost, so. Damn, dude. Well, we could give it like a couple more runs if you have it in you. I'll give it when one more. When did you want to switch games? Um, Let's say between now and two. So okay. I, I can do one more. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. Sick. Golly. You can turn on a shopkeeper aggro icon in options. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I forgot huh. that that's a thing. He yelled Vandal. Damn. That shopkeeper had seven vaccines as a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you get a new vaccine, you keep the old one. Did you know that? It's more dangerous to remove the old one than it is to... Golly, it that's sick. Golly. Let's just close it out with Mars Volta. Okay. There you, no, I'm just saying. No, I mean, like, here, I'll play the first track off of scab dates for you. It's yeah. going to be beautiful. That's what happens when you when you get the vaccine and seven more. <laughs> you can hear scab dates in your dreams. The opening scab, track. The, the intro to scab dates turns into a coded message. I got to be honest, by, dude. Uh, Omar. I hate the name of that album. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I used to I think, think it was scab dates. <laughs> like when I first read it, I'm like, who is Scab Dates? Is it like is that a one of the characters from Francis the Mute? You have the widow, you have Francis, you have uh Scab Dates and Scab Dates. Yeah, I thought it was like a philosopher, like Socrates, <laughs> but Sca Scab Dates. Scab Dates. Yeah, I feel like Mars of Ulta got really into like a pseudo body horror aesthetic for a little while. I'm gonna sack this and go over here. Um, so that's I think where that kind of. Some yeah, good, some good, good uh, fancy footwork there. Yeah, I'm starting to to get into the input delay. Scab Dante. Oh, good stuff. Oh, he's dead. That's fine though. Turkey, turkey. Say I'm the hurdy gurdy man. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. It's reminded me of something. We get a prize? No. Get the head jet. Uh, we need a key. No yeah, prize yet. Um, shit, we should have saved some of the throw. That's fine. I'll use a rope, I guess. Yeah, we have to come back up anyway, so. Oh, you know what? Ah, fuck it. I should have just looked down further. I'm an idiot. Wait, we have to go back up? Mm-hmm. Because that's where the thing is, yeah. And I'm going to oh, bring yeah, the, right. the okay. dog. Guess I'll throw my... No, I'm going to use a bomb. Try to keep it even. Did you know the um 
the meaning behind the mural in the Ujad Eye Room? Yep, that's a Northern Lion Manverse game. Some other lads, yeah. Yeah, uh, Bear Taffy and the Wolf Guy. Wolf Sniper 66. Yeah. That's Michael cool. Fox, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's it's really cool that Derek, like, you know, yes. made out. a little room for the. Uh, okay, I was I was terrified somehow this caveman was gonna set off that shopkeeper. That yeah. Good. Um, do we want to buy any of these? Uh, I don't I don't know. I think I'll at least buy bike shoes. Yeah, that's good. Shoes. Here, let me just break this. Okay. Good. Dan Geesling too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Northern Lion actually did an interview with uh, Egg Eggman McMuffin today. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I what, caught one... like the last two minutes of it, but I'm gonna go back and watch it probably. When's when that I'm coming out again? Because are you gonna be playing Repentance when it comes out? Yeah. Do you know when? I forgot. Supposedly the 31st. I, I still a part of me thinks it it will get delayed somehow, but they seem confident that it's coming out finally. So. Um, I'm Man, excited. And that's this month. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was April. I thought it was going to be April. I mean, yeah. Monster Hunter comes out this week, so I'm going to be a little busy. But Oh, uh, there's a, a question I have for you. If I were to, oh man, to play one Monster Hunter game, where should I start? World, probably. Yeah. yeah. I, I have it because it, came, it comes with PlayStation Plus now. Like, if you have a PS5 and you subscribe to PS Plus, there's like, they just give you like 20 games from the PS4. We, we didn't rescue the cat. <laughs> that's okay conversation on this um yeah i uh i would probably yeah if, if you already have that that's a good start it's it's much more streamlined to the chagrin of some monster hunter fans but i i, I think it's well received and i loved it uh rise is i played the demo rise has got a lot of those quality of life things but also still retains some of its you know the the roots a little bit i think I, I think probably yeah rise or world you'll have a good time the two most modern ones are are probably the best at the moment oh it finally worked okay i'm i think i'm gonna boot up world at some point in the near future see what see what's cooking on it see what it's about uh, i assume we're going jungle i guess no let's let's do no okay that cape is too good Oh wait, no, we can't go there. Yep, we're going jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what we want uh, to do. I guess turkey. if you exit with Oh yeah, you'll keep the yeah, turkey. Yeah. I should keep turkey. Vanilla world, don't get iceborne, huh? Okay. Tell him to start with the Monster Hunter movie. If you wanna have <laughs> if you wanna like okay, you won't get the references because you don't play Monster Hunter really, but the movie is like a kind of a good bad movie, like it's funny. Mm. Um, it's got some genuinely good action, but it's also really like stupid. Okay. And I I had such a good time watching it because it was so dumb. It's a, uh, it's what Mila Jovovich. Yeah, mm -hmm. isn't it? I think. Yep. Wasn't she in another video game movie? She was in um, what's it called? Blood Rain. Did I make that up? Is that a no? Game? She was at Resident Evil. Um, Resident Evil. I yeah. think Blood Rain. I don't know. I'm not sure. Is that a game? Is that a, a movie made into a game? I'm, I'm I, Blood Rain was a... Yeah, that was a game at one point. I don't know if... Yeah. Yeah. It is a game made... Okay. So that is a thing. It was you, Bull. Oh, yeah, that's another topic. Anyway. Like, that dude's yeah. movies are just, like, some hot garbage, but... Yeah. Again, I, I know some people hate the Monster Hunter movie, and some people have said Monster Hunter is the best movie you got it yeah okay. here i'm gonna take the pace just because you know many bombs the best movie game adaptation they've seen and i disagree with that strongly but wow. at the very least it's entertaining so what would you say is the best one detective pikachu probably or sonic yeah mm. yeah yeah i haven't seen detective pikachu yet um i kind of want to it look look pretty good um what was I gonna say? Best video. I, I I remember liking the Silent Hill movie. Strangely enough. I haven't seen it yet, and I've I've just recently gotten into Silent Hill, so maybe one day. Yeah. I think it's worth a view. It's pretty good. 
it's very like typical like horror from the mid 2000s kind of thing like in the way they explain like the curse and avenging so and so ghost little girl kind yeah. of stuff i don't know how to explain that but. jeff says it's not a good silent hill movie but it's a good movie that's yeah. fine that's that's fine yeah. you know what i mean like i'm down for that yeah i'm gonna buy monty and sacrifice because all right let's let's go let's go <laughs> first one is that pretty good time but the second I, one is bad okay. i do that all the time still so i'll good. take this okay I will explore. Um, I'm very interested in how Metal Gear Solid movie is going to turn out. I just don't believe it. I don't just think don't, it's going to be good. I, I just can't imagine it. I just don't good. think it's going to get made. Like, I know they said Oscar yeah. Isaac isn't... He's been uh, thumbed to... I, com He's I completed to the challenge, KY. Hey, nice job. Yep, I did it. Yeah. Squished by a block. Um, I hate. Yes. 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 I did a full rewatch of Fly the Concords one year ago, yeah. and then I drove to Manhattan, and it was like a ghost town because you know it was a year ago. Yeah. I was able to drive through Times Square, and there were three cars on the road. Wow. I took some pictures and shit. It was crazy. That's really cool. So, um, but I went to all the main locations in Manhattan for Flight of the Concords, and I took pictures of them. Mm. Some are not there anymore. The New Zealand consulate, that's gone. That building yeah. is just not there anymore. But Man, Brett and Jermaine's sucks. apartment, they're, they're still there. That's really cool. Yeah. I saw a video on Reddit recently of... Uh, like some building in like the early 20th century that they just like flat out rotated 90 degrees. Yeah, Have I saw that. that. Yeah, that was cool. So freaking wild. And then they demolished about. it like like 10 years later or something. 20 <laughs> years. Like, yeah. Just knock it the fuck down. Who cares? Yeah. I guess the sunk cost people... fallacy doesn't really carry over in bureaucracy so much. Apparently, people were working in the building while they were rotating it. Yeah, like they just. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I need to, like, read more into it, because all I did was I saw the video and said, wow, that's neat, and then just, like, kept scrolling, but it's been, like, sticking around in my brain, like, I want to read about it, like, I know that, like, they kept the building open, and people just, like, went about their lives while the building was being rotated, and it was rotated over the course of, like, a month. Yeah. Um, like, something like an inch, like, every 45 minutes or something like that. It's fucking at crazy. At the rate that they were doing it at. Very good, very good. That's some solid initiative there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, beat it. So, there's also, there's another interesting thing, which was a residential building in Manhattan that was a huge high rise and really mm -hmm. thin. And the idea was that, like, it was so high up that winds were like making the place like rattle and it was like really uncomfortable for people to live there i forget the exact story of what happened but also i need like, to look out for the the eye on my end because i have not been and i realize okay. you're not going to be able to see it sorry go on so yeah i mean essentially the uh the whole thing here is this building was just tall and thin and the people that live there, I think Mariah Carey got like an apartment there. Drop it! Damn it! Ah! Well, sorry. Kapala's there. I'm just annoyed because it was the turkey fucked me up. Like I couldn't, because when you try to drop something when you're on the turkey, it just does the stupid head butt thing. Sorry, go on. You can <laughs> continue talking. No, it, it's just uh, it's just a big scary building that people lived in and then they spent all this money on it because it's this giant tall building and then it turns out it's scary and fucking mm. frightening and weather whoa <laughs> oh i thought you got cursed and, oh, the and turkey took it just any weather would rock the building to the point of like severe severe noises and uh ah. so essentially the, all the money they spent on that place was just like a waste just a total waste of money mm -hmm. man 
I don't think, I, I mean, there's probably people that live there now, but I just thought that was a uh, kind of a... It, it, honestly, this is kind of a cool story, bro. I'll be honest, it is. Yeah. But I like it. That is cool. Um, since we're talking about weird shit in buildings, mm -hmm. did you know that... Um, did you see that thing that kind of went viral a week or so ago where a woman felt a draft behind her yes. bathroom? in Brooklyn. Oh, my God. Yeah. And there was a oh, whole, was like, bigger apartment behind yeah. the, the window, the mirror. Yeah, so, and if you didn't see this in uh, chat, basically, this woman felt a draft behind her bathroom mirror, so they decide to investigate. They, they take the mirror off, and there's just, like, a hole. Um, and they look inside, and they see this, like, dank room with, like, trash and, and things in it. And naturally, what is one to do but to further explore the hole? Um, they decide to go in. She, like, climbs through just barely because, damn it, because this hole is tiny. Uh, she finds, like, an entire apartment inside, like, the two floors, several rooms, uh, like, trash, like, things in trash bags everywhere. Huh? Um, like, tools and, like, the, the walls just, like, torn to shit. Um, no lighting. Just, like, a, a, a dungeon. And she ended her, like, her TikTok chain or whatever, just like, Well, I'm gonna tell the landlord about this one, haha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, um... Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah just wild to think about and yeah someone in chat talked about the movie Candyman, which that's actually somewhat what Candyman is based on that people used to take advantage of these um holes behind people's mirrors in order to break in and rob people's uh apartments in detroit um no bombs for the where... black market dude what was that no bombs for the black market Nah, that's fine i know no worries no worries Oh, dude, you got this this time. This is all you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I went too far. Uh, I quit. I quit. That was horrible. Oh, man. <laughs> my my plan. I need to explain my reasoning. So uh, I was going to try to go all the way left there. Uh -huh. And then I realized there wasn't enough space. So I. <sighs> uh, anyway. So, if I was that lady, by the way, though, I'd probably just renovate that entire, like, apartment and just, like, live there. Like, oh, oh yeah. okay, yeah, there's an empty apartment here. Well, it's mine now. It's the second part <laughs> of my apartment. It's connected to yours. You know, there's no door or anything. Yeah. It's, well, they can't really stop you. Mm-hmm. Could they? I mean, I'm sure they could. But still, like, well, they could, it'd but, be so yeah. easy to just have double the apartment. Why not? Why not have both? Double the apartment, double the fun. I, I also wanted to... Um, I wanted to mention... People want me to tell you about the... The shrimp, the shrimp lady. lady. The shrimp yeah, lady. I was gonna ask it's just, like, what it's the a deal cyber, is with the shrimp lady. I'll send you a link later, but it's it's a... a sci that emote. Uh, it's the cyberpunk shrimp lady. She she glitches. It's funny. It's She goes, I'm ready. You ready? And that's it. I don't know why <laughs> okay. they want me to tell you about it so much. Oh, no, no. I saw that stream. Because I remember I, I turned, it was the first thing I saw. I turned on this stream. Uh, I just gotten home from work. It was like 1 a.m. or whatever. And it's just this woman repeating over and over, like, Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> the shrimp? And I don't remember. That's like all I remember. It's just like you glitching around a car. This, and she, I was just like, Why does she keep saying that? It's the and shrimp. I changed fresh. streams because I was like, Fuck, I'm. <laughs> Yeah, no, fair. Dude, fair. I mean, I watched it for like 10 minutes or so, and then yeah. eventually I was just like, okay, no, I'm, I'm good. Listen, there's something wrong with me where I can go through the shrimp lady thing every time I stream that game, and I just cackle. I slap my knees, you know, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like going fucking mental over this thing, and it's not even that funny. Someone said it's, it's fucking boring. You, there's a chat member that doesn't like when I say bad things about cyberpunk, because they, I think they love it. I see it happen every gotcha. time. I understand. Yeah, even the shrimp lady who's just a beacon of fun and, and uh, excitement. Anyway, as I was saying, the bit fucking sucks, <laughs> but I love doing it um, because it's it, we tend to get new glitches each time and yeah. it's so broken. Like I went, I tried to stream the game last night. Essentially, I really tried to pay attention to the story. I hit two very dark missions really dark and depressing missions and I was really invested in the story yeah and I want I wanted to try to like understand what the writers were going for because it got interesting I couldn't believe it, it was like wow I really like this it's, but it's also really 
you know, something you got to spend time on and, and, and invest your time into. And I, I do that and I'm really getting into it. And then a dude's mm -hmm. jacket glitches off of him and he doesn't have arms. God damn it. Fuck. Or uh. like someone walks through a wall. Or like, you know, every time I try to pay attention to a mission in that game and really try to get into it and see what they were going for, like yeah. someone explodes or the car flies into space. Uh, whatever. Anyway. So yeah, that's that's a fucking shame. I mean, it, video games are hard. Like, I try not to I always try to not carry like an overly negative attitude about uh, development teams because, dude, like just the fact that these things even exist is just like a small miracle. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> when you consider how insanely complicated they are, but it's just but you can't, you know, play a game like that and see things like that happen all the time and not just just be a little crestfallen by it. That's all. You know? Yeah, I. I I, I really do kind of get this to this point where you're right, dude, and it is hard to make games. And I, I give the people that actually spent their blood, sweat and tears on the game, like not the higher ups, but like the developers, like a lot of credit for making a really interesting world and for like a lot of cool stuff that's in there. But um, it's a shame it turned out like that because uh, it had so much potential. Um, yeah. But truthfully, yeah. between you and I and the chat and your chat, I probably wouldn't be streaming cyberpunk still if it was good. Yeah, like if it was just really derivative and generic in a in a game that worked as intended all yeah. the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would probably play. just be like, okay, it's a future a more futuristic, you know, fallout and be done. Yeah, uh, exactly, dude. Exactly. So I play it and I get new glitches each time and we have fun. We laugh. I get big belly laughs. I slap my knees, KY, I slap <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, listen. Thanks for um, thanks for playing. I really enjoyed hanging out with you tonight and playing some Spelunky. Yeah, man. Yeah, it was super fun. Uh, I'm gonna shoot you that that dud video, <laughs> that um, so that you can enjoy the the stupid meme along with me. Yeah, um, yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll have to do it again soon. So sounds um, good. I'm gonna switch over to Loop Hero on my stream. So oh, good choice. Good it's, choice. Uh, it's it's been a while, and you know. I just kind of want to chill, do an hour of looping. I, I did that the other day, and I really enjoyed it. So have fun. Loop Hero is cool. Uh, chat, if you want to check out KY stream Loop Hero, I'll be streaming Doom Eternal. But, uh, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So, But if, if that's like too high energy for you, check out. <laughs> seriously, because it can be for me, too. And like I'm going to be struggling tonight. But um, King KY on Twitch. Go check him out. Oh, thank you. I, oh. I really appreciate that. that of course. Shout out, so. Of course. All right, man. Well, I will uh, catch you at the next one. We'll have to do it again sometime in the next month or two. Yeah, I'm down. Let's uh, actually, maybe we'll unlock a character next time. It'll be fun. Yeah. Who do you have left? Do you know? Oh, have you like have the, three the or City of Gold. Three or four characters left. Two. Okay. Or, yeah, like maybe three. So. Have, wait. Oh, here's a question. Have you been to the Mothership yet? No, I have not. Oh, my God. That We should try for that sometime because... One of my favorite levels due to some very, very strange environmental stuff in, in the mothership. Um, so cool. Yeah, I'm down. Uh, oh, you can't unlock characters in multiplayer. Blech. Lame. Oh, yeah. Ah, damn. OK. Oh, well, well it's fun. We'll, anyway. we'll get to we'll still, you know, we'll do the thing. All right, man. Well, <laughs> thanks again. And I uh, ho hope you have a good night. Enjoy your looping. I will. All right, okay. Ben. I'll See catch you. you next time. Bye. Bye. Okay, chat. Well, thank you for watching Spelunky 2 with KY. And, uh, you know, I, I capitalized the KY in Spelunky. I thought I was being clever. And then people were like, Vinny, why did you spell it like that? <laughs> anyway, stick around a couple minutes if you want. I'll be back with Doom. I'm like a little... Today was just, you know, I, I was going to enjoy the weather. I thought it was going to be nice today. It was just rainy all day. I really... I really thought it was going to be nice. And then, like, kind of my upper back, and then, like, I slept like shit. Ugh. I'm fine. I'll be okay. But I'm going to try my best to doom as better, as good as I can. So, if you want, stick around a little bit. I'll be back. Doom Eternal up next. God, I wish I could play a Genesis song right now. Stick around.